Hey everyone, and welcome to the stream and welcome back to Calmlands. I hope everyone is doing well. So we're gonna do a bit of winter forestry this evening, or late winter forestry, mid-winter forestry, whatever you just, yeah, class January as. So I hope everyone is doing well, as I mentioned. Um, so we'll just go through chat before we get started. I've got a few things I need to do. 
and I forgot I'm just standing over here. Uh, Stevie's probably going to pick me up and I'm not at home. <laughs> but we do have Stevie and Storm joining us again this evening. How are you both? I'm doing all the good. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. I, heard, I definitely heard you, Steve. I don't know about it was you, Storm. I think you was a little bit quiet. Yeah, I'm That's all bad. good. Good, good, good. So, yeah, we're going to tackle cutting down as many of the trees we can over that area of land uh, we planted way back at the start when we, I think we first started here on Calmlands. So, Steve, you planted a load of trees. How many trees did you plant in total? Do you remember? Oh, jeez, I can't remember. But um, I don't even know if I'm recording. My little symbol has gone off my screen. <laughs> So yeah, we've got all this to cut down. I think there was at least, what, two pallets, 120 trees per pallet. Yeah, I think there's, there's there could be 300 trees. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm I'm going to leave the game for one second and, and I'll, I'll come back then. I just right. need to make sure that I'm recording. Yeah, yeah. No worries. So while we're waiting for uh, Steve, we'll just catch up. So MVY2 saying I was here at three o'clock lot. Uh, Jackson Gaming saying yo can i join unfortunately not this is a private multiplayer session at the moment so it's just the three of us and boss two saying so king saying hi good to see you both in the chat and hope you're both doing well dakota 79 saying hey sim stevie and storm have a nice evening i'm sure i will and hope you enjoy watching austin weaver saying hello matt menzenski uh, menzenski's in the chat saying hi sim hey to you good to see you again uh jorgen saying hi sim ready to have a nice evening and i'm curious about to the challenge at. Yeah, the challenge is still here. It hasn't changed. So it's still a, uh, a fent in Challenger, guys. <laughs> it still shows up as a fent, no, a Challenger 734, is it? Yeah, in the store it says it's a Challenger, but oh, the it skin is. is, yeah. Well, it's a Challenger skin with all the fent emblems. Yeah, so if you look at the info at the bottom, it shows as a Fent MT743. Um, on the side, it's showing as a Fent 943, uh, but it's in Challenger colours. <laughs> you so, can, yeah, you can still work there, you didn't reset. You can work away, Sim. There, I'm actually recording now. I've, okay. I see my little, uh, I see my little logo now. Oh, record one. Um, so what, one of the things we're going to do to start with is uh, build this sawmill. Oh no, actually I need to buy the land first. <laughs> and our new forestry company to buy that as well first. Yeah, uh, let me buy the land. So we're gonna buy two new out, no, actually. Oh no, no, what we need to do first is get some money. We need to set the uh, electrical charge to sell. We've got a million liters of electrical charge again from the BGA. So we've finished processing all of the sugar beet cut. No, we haven't actually haven't finished processing all that. We've actually run out of space. So we've got 81,489 litres of that left to do. Um, but that filled up the electrical charge. We've also got methane as well, which you're set to selling. So we'll sell that and then we can buy the land. So I'll just quickly try and catch up with the uh, chat. Uh, where was I? Uxty now saying hello, uh, Sim. I can never say my name, Sim, <laughs> Stevie, and Storm. Uh, uh, Meditation, Meditation saying hi, hey to you. Uh, hello, PB saying hi, hey to you, and welcome to the chat. Saying uh, you're French, so apologies if you can't understand me very, very much, but uh, it's good to see you in the chat. And Rocky Carlson saying hello, Sim, hey to you. Uh, Frambro13 saying hi, hi to you and good to see you in the chat again. Andrew Aidenfield saying what's up Mr. Sim, I am very well thank you, I hope you are too and welcome to the stream. Uh, Mick Callan saying evening men from the old sod. Uh, Mickey saying, yeah, <laughs> saying same what I'm thinking. Uh, Frambro saying how much Playtime hours do you have on their save file? On this one, I think we got about 60 hours. I think I remember looking on Sunday. Uh, Sleeping Echo saying hey yo. Uh, King saying I'm playing No Man's Land trying to make your farm look good. Or make a farm look you good. Make you look 
Trying to make a farm you look. <laughs> I think I get what you mean. Uh, Hans in the chat saying good evening everyone. Good evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you in the chat again. Uh, Mickey Gaming. Hey Sim, are you going to live stream with Stevie and Storm on the new forestry map? Yeah, when the plant Platinum expansion comes out. Uh, we'll do a stream on the, um, the release day on the new map. I uh, don't know if we'll do like a continued series on there or like streams on there, but we'll uh, definitely have a look at it and try out some of the new equipment. Uh, King saying, I mean like you. I think that's what I, I, I kind of got what you was trying to say, but that's awesome. Uh, Danny saying, who else is playing FS22 or watching this? And King saying me. And also Mickey Gaming. Right, so I'm going to have to speed up time a little bit so we can get to nine o'clock and sell all the electrical charge and methane. And we can slow time down a little oh, Just over a million pound. Right, let's um, go spend in some How money. many lorry trailers did we want for log? One uh, or two? I think we may as well only just get one. I, I don't know actually, because we could have one being loaded one's while the one's taking one over. Yeah, that's true, but... We're gonna need the forest harvesters too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get them now. Um, I'll just buy okay. the land. Well, so, should I buy two trailers then? Um, get get two. If we don't use one, we can always sell it. But I think it might be handy because if there's three yeah, okay. of us, while one's taking the one log trailer over, you can start loading up the next one. Yeah, yeah I'll like buy two of them. Um, so we're going to buy 25, so this will be where our new forestry area is going to be. So once we've finished cutting all these trees down, uh, I really want to try and see if we can get those replanted today so they can actually start growing. Otherwise we're going to have a long wait for the next load of trees. So we'll buy that one, which is 147,554. I also want to buy 54, which is 112,834, just so we can extend this field a little bit. And also, so I can use, utilize this space to expand on the farm a little bit, and then we can ex also expand this field. So these will be our like, new areas of land for this year. So we'll get this one as well, which is, I can actually buy it. There we go, 128,372. So we're kind of, <laughs> kind of buying up this corner, working our way up the map and across. So that leaves us with 573,000. So the next thing we need to get is the forest harvester. If I go to the store. I will be doing the giveaway for the new DLC sometime tonight. So if you are waiting for that, stick around. Uh, there is some terms and conditions in the video description. So if you make sure you read through those before you do enter and at some point I will uh, do that. Um, so it will be one copy of the Pumps and Hoses DLC for PC only and it will be a download code emailed to you that you can download from the Farming Simulator website. So direct from Giants. Uh, you can use it on Steam so you don't need to use the uh, Giants version of the game or the disc version. So we want forest equipment, where are we? Forestry, forestry, forestry. So we want one fixed head processor. And then we'll get one of these. Did you bottom out TV on that bridge? A lot grub. No. Oh, I got stuck. You got stuck on what? The logging on trailers the... on the bridge? Yeah, the logging trailer got stuck on the bridge, but I got over. <laughs> Alright. Because these are super heavy and we don't have any trailers or lorries that will actually transport these, I am going to teleport them. Not something I'd usually do, um, but on this occasion, it's the only way we're going to get them down here unless we drive at 15 kilometers an hour, which will take quite a while. So make sure I put the, uh, the grab on before I teleport it. Of course, we won't be able to load up any trailers. These are slightly modified FDR ones. Steve has increased the uh, speed of them. 
so they are a little bit faster than the standard. You're gonna begin at the end, Stevie, so I can park the lorries there. Yeah, what length uh, logs will I cut, Sam? Um, the 36 meter length trees, so we could do them 18s. Yeah, the trailers go up to 20, so 18 that's, that's, is That's it then, we're suitable. not getting any small off cuts from them. Because if we're doing 20s, it'll be 20 and then a, a 16. So if we do doing 18, that's kind of like, should be just two equal or close enough equal lengths. Are they fully grown, are they? If yeah. Not, only yeah. To... Yeah? Okay. yeah, I'll check them earlier. Um, so if I build the sawmill, what we'll do, we'll just cut the 18s until we've filled up the sawmill completely and then the rest we can start cutting at slightly shorter lengths to sell uh you want to do a loading sim or yeah i'll, I'll just build the sawmill first while stevie starts getting some so you can start loading some up if you want while i uh get the sawmill built uh, uh you're in the machine am i oh sorry yeah <laughs> i forgot i forgot i was still sat in the machine on me build mode <laughs> Let's see how horrible I'm at this. Uh, from Bro saying, I hope your day's going well, Sim. Uh, it's been a busy day because we're having our new kitchen, or well, they're starting to fit our new kitchen tomorrow. It was supposed to be today, but they were delayed on their current job. So they're starting That's... that tomorrow, so I've been busy trying to get the garage clear, or well, space cleared in the garage for um, some stuff we're having Same. delivered for the new kitchen. Yep. They're not uh, 36, they're only about 26, I think. Yeah, okay. I've got an 18 and then I've got a 7 meter cut. I'm, I'm sure they were fully grown earlier. You looked at the wrong ones. Uh, let me just check again. Oh, no, they're not. Um, That's weird. Oh, God. When I took the form now, they were fully grown. I remember checking against the landscaping. I'll just do them whatever they are, half then. <laughs> That's a bit disappointing. Yeah, that, I checked against the uh, fully grown spruce tree and that was all fully grown. That's weird. It's like for some reason they've not now reverted back to. <laughs> oh well. They're coming down anyway. Because that's what the, plan, the, plan, the planned work for this evening was. <laughs> get this sawmill built yeah I literally loaded in the map earlier I checked the trees I thought oh they're ready now I'll skip to January they was ready so I purchased the um, tree harvester to take the sum the, the thumbnail but I didn't save it then I quit back out um, but I when I skipped through to January I didn't save that either so I had to come back on after and I never even thought to recheck the trees but for some reason they've uh, Maybe, maybe they'll just pop up to their full length in a bit. <laughs> Speed up time. Uh, DNA saying casually reach one million, yeah. Kings, I'm playing on Xbox, but oh, I've got money cheat. And lots of mods, mostly John Deere, nice. Uh, Dan saying if it, would be, if it wouldn't be raining, I would be playing fields in real life. Nice. How, how, how many fields would you be doing? Right, production, we want factories. Uh, the only sawmill I've got is this one really. Uh, which is the one by Camel, Camelos 0397. It looks like we may need to just flatten the ground off a little bit as well. And one thing I also need to do is turn on the interactive zone marker so I can see where the unload area is. They're all on the front and the side, there's nothing on the back I think. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember what it was. Um, yeah. Uh, where's the land I just flattened? Let's see this. Uh, this loader is a bit different to the cat toilet. 
Ik heb ook gestopt. Ik denk dat ik de log grab kan tilten down as far as I can with the tiger. The, uh, yeah, the tiger. Uh, yeah, that I've, I've never considered that might not be as good to use for loading. Well, I I'll manage to, I forgot it's... to enable the, um, the other ones. I just yeah, put those two in. Not a big problem, but it's just can't tilt it down much further. I uh, can't tilt it down further yeah. than this. I'll have to have a uh, look at putting the other ones in. I literally just went through, I've come to the Altec ones and just enabled those two and then the grab, and that was it. I was like <laughs> rushing a bit to get them on. Don't need any access around the back, but we will just put a little bit. Uh, the other thing I want to build as well is the uh, the actual wood cell point because the the wood cell point on this map the trigger is really low to the ground, and it doesn't really doesn't like selling logs off the trailer, which is a bit of a pain. How much money we've got left? 215,000, that's not too bad. Uh, uh, Rocky Carlson saying I really like the map you're playing on. Yeah, it's a really nice map. This is a uh, calm, I'm enjoying playing on it. Uh, Fran Bray is saying you should try out State of Decay 2. I've played State, State of Decay 2 um, quite a bit on Xbox. I've not completed it though, but I've played it quite a bit. Um, I do, I do like it. It's a bit clunky, um, but it's a fun game to play. So the other thing we want is the selling point, which is this one. Um, we'll try and drop this somewhere where it's easy to get into with the uh, truck or the lorry. Maybe you put that one sort of there. Should be able to drive in there fairly easy. Uh, we'll just... Nope, wrong, wrong texture. I was gonna say we could nearly use two harvesters. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how much money. I don't, I don't want to spend all our money on a uh, harvest. <laughs> Once we start making some back, we can get enough money if we're uh, making a decent amount. Right, that's in. I think we may need to just flatten that out a little bit more. So put some turning space. Uh, Big T Farmer, been a member for six months. Welcome to the stream and thank you for your extra support on the channel. I really appreciate that. Big uh, step up there. Uh, Earth Hunters in the chat again, good to see you. Not seen you for a while. Saying hey there, finally caught a stream. Well, good to see you, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, Maid Sinak saying hello, hey to you. Uh, Danny's saying one small and one uh, and start on a bigger one. Nice. How long does that usually take you to then in real life to do those fields? Like a good day's work. Try and smooth out this a little bit. So what we'll do this side of the, we'll start plant, replanting our trees like down this way. And we won't use all of that land. We'll probably come, well, we'll see how many trees we can get, like so many trees in each row. Because um, I don't want to take up too much space. Uh, again, this is going to be one of those areas I've built up that I've, in between streams, I'll probably come back in and tidy this up. <laughs> kind of just plonked it down. I'm really happy how, um, quite how it's turned out at the moment. 
Так. Right, let's turn that on and we'll do kind of bring so the lorries can drive up across there and we'll just bring a uh, sort of a track round to loop back round. And then you can drive back out. Just try and tidy it up a little bit. What I may do as well is just take a little bit back off that field so we've got a little bit more room at the end of that one. And then probably put a row of trees across there as well just to break it up a little bit. Uh, Marcin, thank you very much for the subscription. I hope you enjoy the content and welcome to the Sim Farmer family. Really appreciate you taking the time to subscribe to the channel. Uh, uh, Big Carl Gamers in the chat again saying hello, Sim Farmer. I hope you're well. I am very well, thank you. Trio Gaming saying howdy. Uh, just trying to skip out all of uh, <laughs> King and having a personal chat in the. Uh, King Sim, can you say, can I get a bottle of water? Can I get a bottle of water? You like the way they say water. Water. <laughs> I just want to say, well, health wasn't my best friend the past year, but I'm doing better. Oh, sorry to hear that one. It's good to hear you are doing better, so hope you continue improving. Uh, don't say, yeah, if you're a farmer, you've got to be ready to sit in a tractor all day and feel lonely. <laughs> uh, King Sim, did you get rid of the rocks on No Man's Land? No, I've kept all the rocks on there. Uh, Big T Farm saying, good to be back for the third time this week. Greeting to Stevie and Storm too, yep. Yeah. Uh, Maid saying, can you please make a video about like decorating guide? I really suck at decorating. Um, I do plan on doing some more kind of like videos similar to that um, but it's just at the moment I'm just so busy with getting other stuff sorted out um, but hopefully I've got a lot of the stuff done now so I should start getting a bit more free time over the next um, few weeks so I can get there's I've got a quite a big list of videos I want to try and get done so hopefully um, over the next few months I can start my, working my way through all that Hey Sim, do you want to take the first load over there? Yeah, I'll come and grab it anyway, I'm nearly finished. Right, we'll leave that at as it is for now. And we'll go and take over this first load. Oh, I can't tilt down further than this. Is that all it does? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, that's rubbish. Crab looks a bit different. That's just my angle. I think I'm looking at it. Well, that's not my. Yeah. Best well, if it's load, causing too much, I may just like, stop the game, and then uh, put the tiger cat on instead. Cause that's a lot better. Yeah, you can try it for yourself, like loading the next lorry, but it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I never even considered what that was like for loading. Oh, I think it works better as the uh, tree harvester and the the fella buncher. The other L L tech is uh, is actually better. But... Yeah, that's like the ones that are made for loading with like the higher cabin and the small or the thin front boom. Yeah, because uh, the problem I had because I've I've still got mine installed as well. So I added Stevie's. I won't show which ones are which. <laughs> so I was just like, right, I'll add that one, that one, that one, and then we'll see. And I just happened to get the right two from those. <laughs> Oops, slow down a little bit. Yeah, you can try it for yourself, but it's yeah not pleasant using them. It's horrible because like trying to get them to lay down nice in the trailer doesn't work because you have yeah. to let them go from a greater height. Yeah, well, I'll give it a try and then um, if it's not suitable, we'll uh, just stop the game quickly and I'll add the other ones.
Uh, you could always just use auto load. I'm not watching. Uh, yeah, it does work. I don't, I don't work, think it'll but... auto load that long though, will it? I think it ends like. Yes, no, you can load, you can change it to load up to 20 meter par ah, it... once. So, it does work, but it doesn't look well. For Stevie, if he doesn't want to do it, doesn't look good in the videos. So we need another bridge mod, so I can build another bridge over. So I don't have to drive all the way around. But so once yeah, I don't we, once we've think got the, there's the, um, long enough bridges. Maybe there's like the one that's a timber bridge. Those are pretty long. Yeah, once we've got the um, all those cut down, then the rest of the trees will be pretty close by anyway. Uh, we just we planted trees on there so we could do some forestry on here, but we just had to use the land we owned at the time without really yeah, any forward planning. Oh, we need I to won't start loading this trailer. I just leave the log so you can try it. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I haven't changed my uh, direction control. Um, if you want to start cutting down trees here, I'll um, I'll see what loading because I I have used that that loader before. Is that? Yeah, I can try cutting down some trees. That's the load point on this isn't very big, is it? It stuck out a little bit further than that. Oh, I stuck them all anyway. What? How many logs have we got in there? Let's have a look. Deactivate that because that's finished. Uh, sawmill. What's the length you were cutting them to, CV? Uh, 13. Okay. So we can fit 110,000 litres in this sawmill. That's another three loads and a bit. So if we do, I'd say three more loads at that, those lengths, and then we'll see where that gets us. I don't know how quick it is, I don't think it's particularly fast anyway. I've set it activated so that some of that might go. I'm going to speed up time a little bit. So we'll get this one back over there and then uh, we'll have a go at swapping over for a bit. See what that's like to load and if not we'll change that out for something that's a bit better. I, I actually find it easy to load this. Yeah, I've, no, I've never tried it myself so I'm not sure what it's... Uh, like then you guys can do the loading I find it horrible <laughs> that's the thing if you're not not used to it it's uh yeah, I was horrible at using the FDR, but now, yeah. well, using the correct ones, I'm, well, if I say so myself, pretty decent at it. I, I can be when I can be bothered. So, sometimes I just end up rushing, I was just like, I just want to get it done as quick as possible. <laughs> just making a mess of it. And then you end up taking longer off the time, because you end up logs going everywhere in the trailer and yeah it's mostly when i'm get to like the last 10 trees and i see that there's only 10 left when i start getting horrible at it yeah let's try i'll see if i can get my uh chat overlay working again let's just try that it makes it a bit easier it comes on for a bit and then disappears when i change into the uh, build mode and i can't get it back on so Adnan Farm saying hi Steven Sim, hey to you, good to see you in the chat again, hope you're doing well. Uh, Mickey Gaming, does anyone else get really nervous when a map? Like you have so many errors on updates and you don't know if they had new, need a new save game or not. <clears throat> I know how you feel with that. <laughs> when Alien Jim put the post up um, about the update to No Man's Land, I was like, first thing I was looking, does it require a new save game? <laughs> I was like, fortunately not. Um, but I've had it in the past where I've been quite a few hours on a map and it's required an update that needs a new save game and it's like, do I update it or do I just leave it and um, do 
do without the updates, but sometimes some of the changes you obviously need. Oh, I think the one map I updated before was actually it was worse with the update than it was before the update. It was like the updated version was missing all the sell points off it, so you couldn't sell anything on there. And the, as far as I was aware, it never actually got fixed, so there was never any further update to the map. So it's like technically a broken version of the map. Um, but it was to presume nobody ever bothered playing it, <laughs> they never changed it. Uh, Mickey Games, Sim, Sim, are you going to do the Golden Lion production on No Man's Land? I'm not going to do the Lion because I've already got the Lion production um, on there, but I will be doing Gold, uh, the Gold production on there. I know I'm doing it on the Western Wilds as well, but uh, it'll be fun to do it on No Man's Land as well before I finish up. So I'll I'll, I'll do the mushrooms as well and the uh, the flower greenhouse. So I'll probably put those in soon and definitely do the Gold production. Uh, Adnan Farm is Steve filming video clip now. Yeah, he's recording for his time lapse video. Uh, yeah, uh, it was Dominic MTB. I use a Logitech G920 when I'm doing the live streams and the let's plays on Harmsden Farm on the other channel. I don't use it for the time lapse videos though, because I just find the Xbox controller far more convenient. Um, I've got a much better camera control as well with the Xbox controller. So I uh, find it easy to use. And apologies if I've missed one of your comments. Um, so if you have asked a question, then just ask it again. Alright. Sam, do you want to remove some stumps? Uh, yeah, I can do. I'm gonna say you can do the delete thing or you can just try I'll just use and them cut them. Yeah, some of them won't do it because they're too low, but you can yeah. try. If I can find them. Don't get run over. I think I should put my high vis vest on. It's on. Once you pull oh, out yeah, the chainsaw, we just, we just get the chainsaw. Put on. It's not on all the time. Let's put our forestry gear on. Yeah, I don't look that silly when I'm cutting <laughs> trees in real life. Never attempted to cut a tree down in real life. No, not not one this big anyway. Sometimes oh, you can wow. get these if they're quite low to the ground. If you just get in the right place. Yeah, don't you have to walk far away and like yeah. look at. I don't think this one's going to have it. Let me turn on delete objects. Yeah, you can uh, if you go to. Like the chest, you can remove them, and it removes all of them. What's that on? Uh, on the third menu, like be load a person, and you go remove stumps all the way on the right. Ah, okay, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I'm not cutting down any stumps any longer. <laughs> on land. I didn't know that was an option. I only accidentally found about the teleport um, option the other day. It's just like, oh, what's this? Oh, does that yeah, most of the well? most of the things in there I find by accident, but yeah, I, I didn't mean to do it. I was sat in the vehicle at the time, and I was like, I saw the map selection thing to teleport, and I was like, I just clicked on it, clicked on the map, and it took the vehicle. I thought, oh, I did not know that. Did that that's handy to know if you're in short time. Um, I is Jacob saying evening, y'all. Evening to you. Uh, Big T Farm saying the timber bridge is terrible to drive on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, bumpy, but it's yeah. nice to take it. Yeah, it might be better, of um, all the way around. with some stuff going down down the dip and then up the other side if you've got the power to. Uh, Earth one's saying odd loading trigger. Yeah, it's a bit, um, a bit of an awkward position as well. Uh, Mickey Games saying, Sim, can you do the new gold line production No Man's Land? Oh, I've just read that one. My, my chat's disappeared off that screen again now. 
I don't, kind of pointless having the chat overlay. But, oh no, I've got it back, I've got it back. Watch it disappear again now, I'll go out and build mode. Yep, it's gone again. There we go. I'll try and catch up to where it is on the screen. Right. That's one nice looking trailer load CV. Yeah, I think it's nearly full. I think I might go with it now in a minute. Uh, Sim, King where's our where's our sawmill bit? Um, it's by the end of the sugar beet field. Have you finished um, loading? Nearly, yeah. I'm, I might bring that load if you want to have a go at this. Yeah, yeah. I'll have uh, see what it's like. Yeah, it's just over by the... Um, it's pretty much just opposite where we are, but the other side of the river. Is it faster to drive to field 20 and take the bridge over there? Um, to be honest, I never even looked at that way. Uh, possibly. Uh, it probably works out about the same. It's probably right in the middle of both bridges. <laughs> oh, you could you could always cut through the farm. I just went all the way around. Oh, no one. I'm trying to read the chat. It's accidentally scrolled it up somehow. That's better. Uh, King saying, Sim, is it hard to play on a wheel? Um, not particularly. It's Some stuff it can be a bit tricky to um, get used to. But once you've got your settings how you want them, like the sensitivity, uh, degrees of rotation, it's not too bad once you get used to it. Let's see now the loader is free, Sim. Yeah. My, my biggest problem was always the um, reversing. <laughs> my, my, my brain could never... Uh, function with which way I needed to turn the wheel but I have got so people can see because it's the first time I've actually used the FDR login equipment on stream so I did put on if it's working uh, I'm not seeing any overlay of key buttons uh, I'll give it a few yeah seconds. there it is so you can see which buttons I'm pressing on there hopefully so I'm now using my Xbox controller there's no other way I can do these <laughs> Not the logout, we'll bring the uh, trailer a bit closer to us. Just so people can see a little bit what buttons I'm pressing for the uh, FDR logging controls. You see how I, how I use my controllers to do it. Oh, jackknife. go with this because I've never used this particular uh, implement uh, thing to do yeah and I can see what you mean by the uh, grab not coming in any closer <laughs> yeah just, it needs to annoying. tilt a bit more down to be able to like let the trees fall down instead of rolling on the grab yeah oh, I definitely see what you mean well there's the first load on anyway it's not too bad when you get used to it. Yeah. I I, I think anyway, because I, I use that on uh, No Man's Land, I just never really had an issue, but it was just, I just, I just got used to it at the start. Uh, Fran Bro saying, when is the stream ending? Um, it'll end around about 11 pm my time. I'll, I'll put the uh, time, in, uh, the date on. Uh, the time. So coming up to quarter to nine, so another two and hours, 15 minutes or so. I definitely won't be doing a late one tonight. <laughs> I mean, that, that on Sunday I was dead for the world, uh, Monday morning. It was fun though, I enjoyed it. I seemed to have quite a lot of people still watching towards the end as well, uh, which was good to see. So thank you to everyone that uh, watched Sunday. 
Um, I may do another one this weekend on um, No Man's Land again to try and get some more stuff I want to do on there. For some reason, it, this, this is why I, I don't bother loading up the top bits of the trees because they just really don't go in the grabs very well. I usually just discard those and then load them up separate. What I have started doing on the Western Wilds is wood chipping them. So I've got the uh, the pellet press which does wood chips. Which is, seems seems more worth doing if you're doing wood chips than um uh, train spotted Jonas, thank you very much for the subscription and welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy the content and thank you for subscribing. I don't want my chat overlay keeps going off the screen. Uh, King Saint Sim, I love your accent. You're probably the only person that does. My, my accent's changed probably quite a bit from uh, how it used to be. Def definitely lost my um, my black country uh, accent a little bit since I've stopped working there. How many logs are in the uh, the sawmill now? Fifty-six and a half thousand. Yeah, we're halfway. Halfway, yeah. So another two loads should get us pretty close. And what we'll do then, we'll start cutting them shorter lengths and then take those to sell. Start getting some money back. Now this this grab's not too bad. It's just those first few logs. Once you get them on, to try and get them down into the the bed, it can be a bit tricky. Uh, Big Cold Game is saying, is there a removed branches as well as stumps that would be handy? Uh, there is one that does remove logs, but then yeah, you have to make sure that all the logs you want to sell yeah. are sold. Yeah, there's a remove logs, remove stumps, remove pallets and remove bales, but not a, a delimbing one. What be... is that? Huh? It's the EC development console. It's the third oh, tab. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's literally a mod I've never actually used. I don't use it that often, but it's handy um, for some of the features on there. Like when I'm doing my test map and stuff, I can just literally just go in there a bit easy and fill a trailer with anything I need. Like today I was testing out Maze Plus on uh, my test map, just to try and work out how much feed the uh, animals take and what feed types you need to give them. And uh, I've put 60 cows into the standard base game animal pasture. So it was the 18 month cows, but I think I'd skipped a couple of months. Uh, so there was only around about 20 months and it literally took 60,000 litres of feed in a few hours. It was gone, empty. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is really why I don't like the top of the trees, because in these grubs they're just they're really, really yeah, they're too thin. I just don't uh, grip very well. In 19, the the really small ones used to cause the grab to glitch out really bad. Is that uh, the tree harvester head working? Because I when I it's a bit slow. The last update, it was faster. When I tried it earlier, it kept going a bit like, laggy. Like the tree was lagging when it was going. Processing. Yeah, I find it rotating a bit slow, but that might just be me. Yeah. Uh, Yancy Lopez saying yes. Uh, Fun to saying, gonna watch some more of the stream on TV. Forgive me for lurking already. No worries. Uh, it's good to see you in the chat again, anyway. Oh, that one didn't want to go in the do ground. That, that, well, that one just literally glitched straight through the grub then. Oh, 
we're making we're gonna make a very light work of clearing all these trees. Yeah, it's going quick. Uh, we'll do we'll do when you're cutting them quite long. Just technically on two logs per tree, isn't it? Yep. Right. Although it's eating through fuel. Yeah, these I, I reduced the fuel usage on mine because they were just stupid. When I first tried them it took me 10% of the fuel and I hadn't even got off the shop car park. Yeah, so I noticed when Stevie was doing it on the Western Wilds, driving to his fuel tank he used 10%. Uh, yeah, 10%. I, was like, I, I was just trying to load it on the back of the trailer, I was like, I've used 10% fuel already. I was like, yeah, I need to change that. It's like I used to do like 40 hours a week work in one of these and fill it up once. <laughs> Yeah, we can uh, drive a lot longer with the uh, excavator before filling it up. The trouble is, well, I think when you've got the fuel usage on high, it kind of makes it more, um, use it even more then. It's one thing I really hated about FS19, was if you was using the increased fuel usage mod and then a moderate ramped up the fuel usage to make it more use more it then used even more it's like just leave it standard base game and then let people use them more fuel mod if they want to rather than have that one tractor then that uses a ridiculous amount of fuel because you want to use that mod for the other equipment yeah if uh, a machine was using fuel this fast i'd be looking for a leak yeah the other one as well is the braking force on um, FS19 there were some combines where the braking force was like non-existent so you'd you'd literally hit the brakes and it, it should just carry on rolling and rolling and rolling <laughs> it's like stop I do tend to use the uh, N, what is it the reduced brake force mod because I do find some mods uh, stop way too fast That, the, the FDR truck is awful. You literally take your finger off the accelerator and it comes to a stop, like instantly. So I haven't even got my finger on the brake yet and it's just gone completely dead. If you want to uh, swap over at any point, Storm, and let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'll, you I'll, want I'll finish loading sure. up this next trail Nothing. and then you can take that one if you want. And um, I've just got in your yeah. Do a bit of cutting. Yeah, I, I can go back load then, I know if you want. Yeah, I can do a load, drive a load, and you can load it up. Oh, oh, I've nearly knocked the. Go back, go back. I've nearly knocked the trailer road truck over. Did you want to fill up the trailer, Shim, or do you want me to fill it yeah, up? Yeah, I'll, I'll fill this load up and then we can, uh, you can take that over. Okay. No, I'll swap over. Oh, do they? Well, there's an animal walking around the forest. There's the dog Steve you got the other week. <laughs> Forgot oh. you got that. <laughs> there were some flying uh, deer too earlier. They were talk walking on the tops of the trees. Yeah. Uh, Sim saying, how is this? Is this how you get that when you. I'm not sure what you mean there. <laughs> when you wash trekkers and the other stuff, how did you Let's get that? I'm not 100% sure what you mean there. <laughs> and they say, so, okay, see, so I've got to go by now. No worries. Uh, Tiger Man saying hello, hey to you, welcome to the stream. Uh, Danny saying, any tips to keep playing on a map for a long time? Uh, just try and give yourself a goal to work towards is always my best thing so you've got something to actually work towards that's uh, what I always used to do whenever I used, used to start a map before I started doing videos I'd always have some objective I wanted to try and achieve on that map uh, so either it'd be like own a certain amount of land or a certain amount of animals or something like that depending on what the map was 
Uh, sometimes I used to start maps with a uh, big loan um, but start off with small equipment so I used to do like a um, have some small equipment and tractors uh, but start off with like a big debt so like two million in debt and then work up like having to pay off the debt as well so kind of like the farms really struggling in debt and then you have to pay off all the uh, the loan so I used to set it where I, I had to make regular repayments on the loan kind of give you something else rather than just playing the game for kind of no particular reason I used to do that quite a bit actually on quite a few farms I did before I started doing videos so it was quite fun definitely give you a lot more satisfaction when you've eventually got that new tractor which can help do jobs a bit quicker but yeah just try, try and set yourself some kind of goal on there where it's to own all the fields on the map or you know get, get enough money to buy the biggest field on the map and then do a harvest on that before you finish uh, that's quite a good one to do on some maps because if they've got expensive fields and the largest fields like few million and then that's kind of your end goal is to do one harvest on that field let's see do you want to remove the stumps again sir is that not something you can do is that something I have to do yeah no we could do that but then you have to go to the F3 menu and then you have to I think you have to go down all the way and give us permissions to okay. do that. I was gonna say I know when I'm doing my multiplayer, I there's certain things I can't do on the other PC with. Um... Yeah, you have to give the uh, farm managers permission. Ah, okay. It's easy, but it's something you have to do if you want to use it on your other PC. Ah, I didn't realise it was an option. For that. I just presumed it was because it was not the. Uh, the main host you couldn't use that stuff yeah I didn't know that either but I was like there has to be a way for everybody to use them uh, Luca Milo, Mil, Milovanovic saying hey everyone hey to you uh, Mickey Game saying hi as well uh, Fami Rizvez Rizvez Rev <laughs> I you forgot your name wrong again saying hello Sim I've been waiting for the Western World Series when it will be uploaded uh, hopefully tomorrow we should be back um, oh it's stuck in the ground I think yeah oh, I, I hate that when the top of the tree glitches in the ground you just can't move it uh, Western World should be back tomorrow um, I've, so I'm really busy over the weekend I just couldn't get the time to finish it off so I did the live stream instead um, let's that, see do you want me to take that load and you can start uh, I'll try and fit these ones on yeah okay should be able to squeeze these ones on yeah so the western world should be back tomorrow and then i should hopefully be back to normal for the rest of the week and it's one of the reasons why there was no schedule posted up on sunday was because i was just unsure i was, I was going to put them on he's drove well, off why am i launching backward huh? <laughs> oh well, that wasn't the plan <laughs> i don't know if you're gonna be able to turn oh yeah like just sitting over the top of the cab. I wasn't in cruise control or something, it just launched me backwards. <laughs> the sawmill is almost full then, it was 80,000 when I brought in that one anyway, so right. we could probably do shorter logs now if you want. Yeah. Um, um, if it fits this load, should do. Are we looking? Yeah, that one should probably just take us up close so yeah I'll start cutting sixes I think we is it three lots of six I can fit on um yes I never remember which log trail is which uh, Mickey game saying gotta go now see him no worries and um, thank you for stopping by the stream and uh, hopefully see you on the next one one thing I need to get used to this is because I've got the uh, direction control set to manual need to remember to keep changing oh this trailer wants to tip over <laughs> oh don't 
don't know how sixes are going to work with these because they're not full. Yeah, I've got that problem again where the tree's glitching through the uh, the tree harvester header. Yeah, I didn't have that problem. I'm looking at the stream. I haven't had a problem like that. Yeah, I had that earlier when I was on here doing the thumbnail. Um, it seems to like clamp the tree too much that the tree goes like the arms of the tree half surrender go through the tree and then when it feeds through it's not feeding through correctly yeah okay grip, we've tried to grip a little bit too hard we've got it up to a hundred thousand now oh yeah that'll be close enough let's do it again Oh, do you like clamp the tree with the fingers or like off the harvester yourself or do you just leave them? No, I grab it with the um, thing, but I don't grip it that much, but it seems to be when I'm probably tipping the tree over. Maybe yeah, the, I uh, don't grab them, I just harvest them and then yeah, no, it that's holds it. That's probably why. I I can't pick up the fattest bits with the, with the grab, it just goes straight through them. Yeah. I've never had that issue before, but I seem to be having it quite a bit on here. That one's not too bad because I didn't grip that one quite as hard. They jackknifed. Ah, jackknife. Yeah, yeah that's tra trailer seems jackknifed quite a bit. Well, I think it's the trucks. Well, I think what the problem is sometimes is the trailers don't seem to have any trailer brakes on. So as you slow down, the trailer carries on and it just pushes the uh, truck forward. I noticed that on quite a few trailers. Yeah, I don't think trailers have brakes. So what they really need is like proper working trailer brakes. Especially when you've got a heavy load on you and you're trying to slow down, the trailer just pushes you because it's got no nothing stopping that. Uh, Carl Smith saying hi, hey to you. Andrew Rule saying evening all. Seeing the controller, uh, never seen the controller overlay before, but great to see how you're doing the login. Yeah, I've, I've had that, <laughs> I've been waiting to use that for ages. Initially, I did, I did have a green screen mat so I could kind of like have a camera overhead and try and show it. But then I, I, I tried to look see if there was any sort of camera overlay to use instead. Um, uh, what do you want to do with the tops of the trees? Like uh, well, the I was considering trees. getting the uh, the wood chip or we can, it depends how long they are, if they're only short we can delete them That's once we've cut the them all. They're 6 meters. Oh they are 6 exactly. Yeah. I'll try and uh, stack them in a neat pile. I can't pick up any of the bottoms of the trees whatsoever, only the middle ones. Only the middle? Uh, you can't yeah. pick up this tree? No, it's, it's going straight through, the, straight through the grab. It's not even the thickest, that's strange. Maybe it's just because it's multiplayer, it just pitches out a little bit more. Yeah, I see the... Hmm? Uh, I didn't have... Hello, hey to you. Sorry, it's wrong. Carry on. Yeah, no, that's just strange that those trees go straight through the yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put those in a separate pile. And then I'll just start piling up the middle and the, uh, the other bits. It looks like they've only got like a pick up thing the first meter or so on the bottom here. And then the rest is transparent. That's a bit strange. Stop reaching through. Start doing three different plots. I can pick it up with this. Um, yeah, it's strange. Maybe it's just because I'm the host, I can pick it up and you two can't. Or 
you were able to pick up Nars TV. Only at the end? Yeah, that's what I had when trying to pick it up with uh, I'll, Super I'll Strength. I'll put a few more and then I'll try and see if it's just because of the, bit of the multiplayer or whether it is. I've got the same issue with them. There are, there are times where they <laughs> log, in, log in is frustrating. Now that one's glitched straight through the tree. I've just dropped that one down and it's it's like there's no collision on the one part of the tree there. It's literally just dropped straight through that other tree. Only the end if you look with super strength where you can pick it up. Yeah. Strange. We, mm -hmm. I hope you get full price for it though. On there. Well, it gives us the ability to load a lot more on the trailer. <laughs> That's weird. So we seem to have been a few uh, issues with the locks. I mean, if it if it gets really bad, then we'll just have to um, put the log cell point point down here and just pile them into the trigger and then just sell them straight away. I oh. don't know if auto load, I think auto load works on them. That's not a problem. I think, I don't know if I've still got the mobile wood cell point enabled. You could just drop one of those down and just drop the trees next to that. If they start becoming too much. Yes, you do. It's still enabled, but we could try auto load before we try selling them yeah. directly. Dan is saying thanks for the tips I've got to go now by. No worries and thank you for stopping by the stream. Uh, Vast Antelopes Gaming saying hi, hey to you and welcome to the stream. Uh, Family saying I love I see love the that series on playing on the Western Worlds and you are my inspiration. That's good to hear. Yeah, it's definitely um be back tomorrow. We should be. Fingers crossed anyway. If the video is done, I just need to edit it and render it tomorrow morning and then get it uploaded. Uh, the next No Man's Land is already recorded as well, so I just need to edit that one, uh, which will be a job for tomorrow. Uh, the only problem I've got is because they're doing the new kitchen fitting, they may have to turn the power off at some point. Uh, so I'm hoping that's not gonna cause any issues. So I need to try and get my video rendered as quick as possible in the morning before they need to get to that point. Hoping tomorrow they shouldn't get to that point tomorrow at least. Um, there may be a day this week where I may struggle to get some content done because the power may be off for an hour or so. Uh, but we shall see. Oh, I'll put that one here. If I'd have done these logs, we'd be back with a bit. The bigger bit in the middle. Do the uh, the bits at the end. Uh, Frambro saying, "Hey Sim, I'm try to be on the stream and talk 3:15 your time." So I can't, I can't remember where you um, you were in Canada, weren't you? If I remember correctly. Frambra is saying, hey Sim, what's your daily schedule? Um, it changes from day to day. I don't really have a set schedule. Because of the problems I have from my head injury, like I, sometimes I get really tired during the day that I just have to sleep. Um, so it kind of changes every day. But what I do like to try and do is get in here quite early in the morning. And ideally for me, I'd like to be at a position where I can start recording straight away get a video recorded edited and then that's ready to be rendered in the evening um, so some mornings I'm, I'm in here in the office from like eight o'clock after I've taken the dogs out had breakfast and stuff and then I used to spend what two three hours recording and get the video edited 
and depending on how I'm feeling after that I'll try and then either start recording the next video and trying to get as much of that done as I can for the next day and then just goes from there so the next day I may have to finish recording the next episode from where I finished off the day before and then get that one edited so normally I'd once I finish at the end of the day probably around about four o'clock um, I'll take the dogs out and feed the dogs and then I, the only thing I do after that is publish the video for five and then that's usually me done for for the day I usually then set my video off to render so it's ready for the next day and it, it very rarely goes to plan that way and I often I try and do it so I can have weekends off completely but since I started doing that there's been very rarely where I've had a complete weekend where I haven't had to do something, either edit a video and get it rendered and uploaded over the weekend or finish recording one. So it just depends, I have to take each day as it comes. There's some days where I'm just so tired I just, just have to go back to bed. How many trees we've got left? So quite a few. Uh, the trouble is, there's no stats on the multiplier, so we can't see how many trees we've got down. We've done quite a few, but there's way more left. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get them all done tonight. Where are we? I don't want to just do forestry all night. Yeah, no, there's a lot left. So there's a few other jobs we can do. Obviously, we bought the new land, so we can uh, extend the fields get soil sampling and get some lime spread on the new sections ready for uh, planting in spring. Uh, there's a bit more building work I'd like to do if we can get the money. Yeah, I can do some more harvesting if you want. Um, I'd like to build the carpentry shop so we can use the planks to get furniture. Um, we could also we can't afford it at the moment, I was going to get the uh, the wood chipper but that's a bit too expensive. The wood chipper is like Yeah, because that carpentry carp 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 shop also does pellets from the uh, wood chips. Which are quite yeah, enough. it's three and a half, it's nearly a lot of 50,000. But we won't be able to afford that and the carpentry shop. Um, Let's see, this carpentry shop is like 60 I think. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, the carpentry, so we are going to need 400 and 10 be able to buy both. Let's see if we've got any produce. Ah uh, yeah, from Bray say I live in Canada. Yeah, I thought you did. I remembered. MRT KPR saying hello, some greetings from Turkey. Greetings to you and welcome to the stream. Uh, sunflower oil is nearly at its best. Yeah. It's at 5,000 on the F480. I completely forgot when we went to over winter. Um, and canola is at its best price too. So I'll take both of those to sell. Uh, the canola oil and the sunflower oil. Yeah. Um, I think we'll probably do the giveaway in a bit for the uh, pumps and hoses DLC. So if you want to be in with a chance to win a copy of the pumps and hoses DLC on PC, just check the video description for the terms and conditions and I will say the uh, oh, the giveaway is not affiliated with Giant Software, Creative Mesh, YouTube or Google. Kind of a legal requirement I think for uh, YouTube. Not that many people that do giveaways bother even doing that but just to be safe. So what we'll do, we'll get one single word and what you need to do is post that word in full capital letters that one word only and a comment uh, once we've decided what word uh, don't post it multiple times or you'll be disqualified and then what I'll do is I'll use the um, app on Nightbot to randomly pick one person that's left that comment uh, the, the um, DLC will be a download code from Giant Software 
so you'll have to contact me via the email address on my about page or about section on my channel page or if you're one of my channel members in the discord you can contact me on discord to uh, send me your e email address can i join the giveaway too i thought you'd already got it uh, no i haven't bought it yet though. But but I, I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if that will be uh, some people no, might, I, not, might not like that. I was going to say, I can buy it, it's not a big problem. It's okay, Sam, I just text my email address in the hall, okay? <laughs> not even bothering joining, just getting the code sent right away. Yeah, well, I mean, in the chat, in the chat, not comment. Comment in the chat. We just need to think of a word. What word can we? Uh, something related to the DLC at least. Oh, I was going to say tree. I've got so many trees now. Baby's number one. do it slurry so if you write slurry in the chat in capital letters just that one word slurry so that's s l u double r y i'll give it um where are we 20 coming up to 20 past so if we give it to half nine so 13 minutes to uh, get your word in so only post it once and make sure you only post that one word in all capital letters because it, it's case sensitive so if you do it in lowercase it won't register uh, do you know how i changed the side of the curtain i want to open uh, i'm not sure i've never figured that out myself yeah no it disappeared from my help menu yeah so i saw I it come up once on my help menu point. and then when I, I tried to do it the other day and i looked and i was like i can't see where it says yeah no it only does it on the base game one i think so I couldn't work it out, so I was like, because I'd like to know how to do it, because there's sometimes on um, No Man's Land where it'd be nice to see the other side <laughs> rather than yeah, the side I'm that's gonna up just the try building. Well, I know it's something to do with a Z or a Y, but I've still not figured out which one of them it is. Probably have to look through the uh, key bindings, see if it's set up differently for that mod. Have you sold any trees yet or? No, still loading. Where's our cell point? Um, just a little bit further up from the sawmill. This that the uh, the building or the little like conveyor type looking thing. It's um, next to the sawmill. So you should be able to just pull up alongside it and then the uh, the triggers just by the little cabin thing at the end. Uh, Kasu saying you are my idol. Oh, thank you for that and welcome to the stream. So yeah, I'll give it another, what, just under 10 minutes to get your uh, comment in or chat, comment in the chat, I should say. I don't think I've got it set up so I can screen share the thing. Uh, Gideon Dick, um, Dickinson, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I uh, hope you enjoy the content. I think it shows you on here how many trees we've cut. There's no tree counter built into this now. Yeah, it's a, li a little bit annoying that multiplayer doesn't give you any stats. It'd be nice to see in 
like in your multiplayer session, how many bales you've done, if you've done bales and stuff, how many uh, trees you've put down. So just under 10 minutes left, if you've not yet got your comment in, then we're in do it. So slurry in all capital letters. Uh, do I miss FS19? Not particularly, no. I enjoyed FS19 when it comes out, but I'm enjoying FS22 probably a little bit more. Um, so I don't miss FS19 particularly. Oh, went a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> that tree went a bit glitchy. Um, there's there's a few mods I miss. Uh, Map object hider would be a really useful mod especially on Carmsland Farm because I'd be able to get rid of some of the junk around the farmyard I'd really love to get rid of well, when you've come back with that load if you want to swap back over Stevie yeah no problem and uh, I'll get the uh, carpentry shop built yeah I am loading up these pallets because there's only place to auto load 50 but that builds half the trailer yeah. We, we may need a fuel trailer as well because I'd say the yeah, FDR yeah. stuff is running low. Yeah, I've already got 26% left in here. And I don't fancy driving this all the way over to the fuel point. It's probably not too far from where you are, right, sir? Yeah, it's not too bad. But right, we can get the little fuel bells bells to uh, pull with the, uh, the boater. Is there a little fuel bell, fuel bells there? Uh, yeah, in miscellaneous there's the trailer. That's expensive though, that's 30,000. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, it's one, one of those things, I don't think I've added any mods for the fuel. You can always get some diesel cans, but they're only like 20 litres. I don't think I've got those installed either. I did, I did that once on um, one map when I first started, I got the little diesel thing, so I like, run out of fuel, I'll go and get, get one 20 litres, put it in and I was like barely made a dent in the fuel, I was like, yeah, that's going to take a while, <laughs> right, that's enough fuel to get me to the fuel point. Uh, from Rose saying, so Sim, have you tried, Nin um, tried FS Nintendo Switch Edition? No, I haven't. I did have a Nintendo Switch briefly, um, and maybe if I'd have still got it, I probably would have tried it. But I, uh, I gave it to my sister so she could give it to my nephew for Christmas. Because I, I got it free with my mobile phone contract uh, a couple of years ago. Let's see, I am taking a load of uh, 63 pallets of oil over to the show point. Yeah. That should give us a nice uh, bit of money. Yes. Cass uh, is saying, I wish, I wish they could use some time and effort to make log and tree physics better. Right now, they glitch very often, and they feel like they don't work, don't weigh anything. Yeah, I, I'm hoping with the platinum DLC that will have made some improvements to the uh, tree physics. Um, there's definitely some larger trees on the platinum expansion from the screenshots I've seen some new tree types as well so hopefully they will do an update for the game before that's released um, and they've actually made some changes to the login in general because uh, it'll kind of suck if they haven't and then you have to get the a forestry heavy platinum DLC uh, but then the logs are still a pain to use the base game equipment uh, but we'll see, it's not long, was it November, that's out. November 22nd or 21st or something, I don't know. So, yeah, I think it's the week, week after Telford, Scale Model World Telford. Or the weekend after the weekend, that is. Yeah, we definitely going to need to get some fuel in a bit. Where are we? You've got five 
just under five minutes left to get your comment in if you've only just joined then comment slurry in the chat all in capital letters just that one word for your chance to win a copy of the pumps and hoses dlc do you want to swap all resourcing yeah if you're back um i'll just cut this one I don't. I think there is a mod where you can get like a thousand liter IBC of diesel. I don't think that's yeah. on there. It's okay. I I'll drive back to the fuel tank. It's fine. It's My video would be it's split off. I've had um, installed on some more games, but I've never actually used it. I don't mind how much, I like it. Get rid of so, if we get enough money, Ooh, do we? I'm want wondering to? if it's removing the sh the uh, tree stumps with the easy dev control that's causing the um, problem with the bottom of the trees. It's oh, probably. It's removing the collision from the bottom of the. Yeah, I haven't had that problem, but it could do that. Okay, we got about four hundred thousand. Oh, wow. Oh. What's that from? The canola royal and sunflower oil. Yes, yeah, should I buy the beaver wood chipper thing and um, get it over there? Yeah, might as well now we've got the money for it. Okay. I think we've Do still I... got we've got another like thirty thousand liters of eggs to sell almost. Yeah, and cheese, and we've got a lot of fabric which isn't used yet. Yeah, well, uh, we need to get the uh, tailor shop sorted out. What? Well, I don't think we'll get time to do that. How much milk we got? Another seventeen and a half thousand litres of milk we can take to the uh, dairy. Let's see. I'm gonna buy the beaver nator. We do. We do have some crops in here. Which. Which colour do we want the beaver thing? Just red. Uh. I think I had orange on the western wall. So anything but orange. Let's see. I'll say I can do it the same colour green as the lorry, but I think that looks horrible. Uh, the oats we can sell. Are we at the best price for oats? Yeah, best uh, price for oats. I was going to say we don't need them for anything, do we? Not at the moment, no. So we've got 90,000 litres of oats we can sell. Uh, the current price is 1,200 per thousand litres, so that's another 100 grand. Okay, let's see. That's the only crop. We've got a bit of sorghum, which probably isn't worth selling. Which colour? Uh, I was going to say which colour is that oil? Other lorry, but that's red. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, just the oats we've got. Oh, this colour green doesn't look that bad. Uh, I'm uh, not sure if I've got your name right, it's per Pericles. Uh, Pereira saying hi from Italy, hey to you. Apologies if I've just butchered your name. And uh, Castle is saying speed hacks. Uh, this is the cheat mode for the running. Uh, it's the default speed if you've got cheats enabled. Uh, I don't I don't particularly like it, but there's, there's no way of changing it uh, unless you use another mod. We've still got 33,000 litres of sunflowers processing in there. How much fabric have we actually got now? 50,000 litres of fabric, which I don't. I think that's more than a year's worth the tailor shop can process. Yes, I think so. Um, I need to turn the interactive zone markers back off. I really dislike those. Where are we for time? So I've got one minute left. If you've not got your comment in, so comment slurry, all capital letters, you've got 30 seconds left. Uh, what we'll do, I'll do the... Uh, we'll do that first, then we'll get the uh, carpentry shop built. I'll just actually see how much the uh, planks are being... So we've got 2,159 litres of planks, which isn't too bad. So 10 seconds. Enrique, Enrique saying, do you always use the command? Uh, which command? Uh, for the uh, for the logs. Uh, it's the first time I've ever used it, to be honest. I, d I usually just go around with the chainsaw to remove the logs. Where do you want the wood chipper? Just 
where we're cutting the logs? Yeah, just where we're cutting, and then we can start putting these smaller bits through. Okay. Um, right, so yeah. Time has now finished on the giveaway, so I will just go over to my game. Unfortunately, I say I don't have it set up so I can share the screen. Um, I'll see if I can try and get it on. If I can add another source. Uh, let me get the web page up first. Where are we? Uh, right, there we go. So I should have had all this uh, prepared, but I was a bit late starting the stream. Right, see if I can bring that over here. Uh, if I can add a source on here. Browser source. Add. Add new source. And the URL. Oh, let me just log in first. Just make sure there's nothing on screen that I don't want you to see. If I actually. No, wrong. Where is it going? Giveaways. Keyword is slurry. Oh, right. So if I copy that URL and then add that to my browser source. Uh, okay, well that's weird. Um, Some reason it's not showing up that I'm signed in for some reason, although I am. <laughs> uh, oh, why is that not showing the right thing? Uh, let me get rid of that for a second. Apologies, everybody, <laughs> bear with me a bit. Uh, Hansen just had to refresh my stream. Hope I'm still registered for the giveaway. If you've got your comment in, then you should be. Yet, yeah. if I can actually get it working. If not, I'll just have to do it off. I'll take screenshots so you can see, and then I'll post that into the uh, community tab with the winner on as well. Because uh, I don't know how it's not showing what I'm seeing on my thing, even though I've got the correct URL posted in. Um, right, there we go. Right, hopefully you can all see that now. Um, I'll, I'll have a look back in a second, see if I can see a comment. Um, Okay, I've got it now anyway. Hopefully you can all see it now. Um, so you can hopefully all see what I can see. So we've got the words, keyword slurry. Uh, I will enable that. So automatically mark users in all that post the keyword more than one times, which was one of the requirements of the uh, 
the giveaway. Channel members don't get any extra luck. So that's disabled, they get no extra luck. So there's no favoritism for channel members or regulars. So everyone gets even, even chances of winning. So right, start giveaway. And uh, Maid Sinak, you are the winner of the Pumps and Hoses DLC. So if you can contact me via the email address on my YouTube about page. So if you go to my main channel and then go to the about section and then you can click on uh, the email there. If you then send me uh, an email uh, with your details on then I can send you over the the download code for the DLC. So congratulations. If I get rid of that now. Yes, so we can get back to the game. I can get rid of that one. Um, I will, uh, the DLC is released next Tuesday. I will try and get the code. Oh, you're on PS4. No, PC only. So it, I can't get a, a PS4 code. Um, I did say at the, at the start it was PC only. Stevie, is that middle pile? Is that the trees that want to go into the chipper? There's a pile of just small tree tops. That's what goes in the chipper. Yeah, the one in the middle looks like. Oh. Uh, King saying okay, boy. Everyone have a good evening, a good stream. Well, thank you for stopping by the stream, and hope you enjoyed it. I did say read through the uh, terms and conditions before you entered to make sure you agreed with everything. Uh, just stating there that he's PC only, uh, the prize. Uh, so yeah, we'll get the uh, carpentry shop. And um, what I will do, I'll, I'll do re-roll. You'll have to redo all the comments because it won't register the previous ones now. I've already done that keyword. So I'll give it, I'll give it a little bit longer and I'll choose a different keyword and we'll have to try again. Let me get the uh, carpentry shop sorted out so we can start production on that. Yeah, so if you've only just joined, then check out the video description. There is a kind of terms and conditions in the video description to read through. Uh, make sure you agree with all of what's in there and you, you are aware it is PC only. Um, uh -oh. Unfortunately, I will try and do a console giveaway in the future if I can, but I don't know how it works on... Um, whether you can get codes for console or not, I have no idea. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Carpentry shop, 60,000. Okay, it doesn't like to pick up these small trees, so they just glitch through the grab. They glitching through as well? Yeah, they glitching through the grab. I'm just gonna try driving slow and see if it yeah. holds them. I'll come and have a look and. Um... Let me just get this carpentry shop built so we can. Uh, we've got somewhere to take the wood chips as well. If I can remember what I'm doing. That's what I wanted. I wanted to try and flatten out the land a little bit. Yeah, well, I'll choose another, um, another uh, word in a minute. And then we'll start again. What time are we now? To 22 yeah so we'll do it from from now so this time type in manure in all capital letters and then I'll give it till 10 o'clock so it's another 20 minutes uh, I've never done an FS22 giveaway because as being said most people probably would already have the um, FS22, and I know there's some people that obviously wouldn't have it, but it's kind of like you exclude quite a lot of people as this is a new DLC. So I probably will do another giveaway for the Platinum expansion as well when that's released, or just before that's released. 
Uh, but I know some people may have already pre-ordered the Pumps and Hoses DLC as well. Um, so it'd be nice to try and do something different. Um, but yeah, if you haven't pre-ordered the Platinum Expansion or you've, you haven't got the Season Pass, then I will do a giveaway for that as well. A bit closer to when that's due to be released. And so I will, I will have a look into it in the future for a console, but I say I have no idea if you can actually like get a download code for Xbox or PlayStation. I've never looked into it to be honest. I'm not quite sure how that would work. All right, we we'll get the production. I really wish this had stayed where you last were when you quit out of it. So the triggers are on the back side on this one. So if we build that somewhere there. So I think the pallets spawn down there. So we'll put a road going straight out. give us enough space so again post the word manure just manure on its own that one word and only post it once so multiple comments will you will be disqualified and make sure it's all in capital letters as well because uh, it is case sensitive and um, we'll go till 10 o'clock my time so if you look at the top right hand corner you can see the current time for me so we've got 18 well just under 18 minutes Sculpting. I'll use the tractor trailer for the wood chips. Yeah. Try and tidy this area up a little bit, and then we can uh, get the planks. We'll get the planks auto distributed from the sawmill here, and we'll use those to produce furniture. Uh, it's kind of what I do now on No Man's Land. I don't bother just selling the planks because this one, you get the wood chips as well from the production, so you kind of get a bit of extra than just selling the planks as they are. So it may not be as profitable but it's <laughs> one less job to keep worrying about selling planks and then doing the furniture separately um uh, frambro is saying it's 242 for me so yeah you're a man of the the past <laughs> my my 242 is long gone this afternoon Take our new challenger out for a ride. It'd <laughs> be nice to get get some use out of that. Do some plowing in it later. Gonna do some wood chip hauling now. Give the unicorn a run out. Uh, Fran Bro saying, Sim, did you make a new word and it is new? Yes, all in capital letters. Uh, made saying, I was looking through the whole City for PS4 DLC codes because you can buy them for some games, but I didn't find any. Didn't find any just for PC. Let's see, should I start selling the oats? If you can't contact me anyway, and then I'll see what I can do. 
Um, yeah, we might as well get them sold because January is the best month to sell those. We don't gonna... need them for anything, do we? No, we will get another harvesting before we need it out for anything. We've got enough barley for the chickens. Yeah, we can't. Uh, yeah, we, we're not going to need any. Um, it's only going to be a few months before the barley is ready again. Should I sell all the oats or just one lorry load food? No, you might as well just sell all of them. Okay. Give us a bit of extra money. Alright, so while I've got the uh, thing here, I'm going to tidy up the end of this field a little bit. While we're over here. Uh, where we got? So we've got 15, oh, 14 minutes left. So get your word in, manure all in capital letters, and then we'll redraw it again. But mate, if you contact me through my um, my email address anyway, I'll see if I can uh, sort something out for you. Let's see, I'll be right back. All right. Technically, you did win, even though it <laughs> did say PC only, but. <laughs> If you contact me with your uh, details, I'll see if I can uh, sort something out. Um, right. Yeah, I've completely forgot to show this. So at the end of the last stream on Calm Lands, we started to put this shed in. And, uh, so I did finish off the landscaping. So I tidied it all up because it was getting dark on the stream to see. And then we went and bought the vent challenger thing. So I've kind of leveled it out a little bit more. I've built a fuel point here so we can refuel vehicles here. A little vehicle workshop and a pressure washer so we can clean stuff off. So this is our drive through shed so we'll use this for the combine and the headers um, so it's easier to, we don't have to reverse into the shed, we can just drive through and then park up inside. Um, so I've put a slight ramp down here so we can access it both ends and then come round. And now we own this little area of land what I was considering doing as well um, was we'll extend this field kind of straight down that way uh, but then we'll have a little bit of area here where we can get another shed built for storing our trailers um, that'll free up a little bit more space over at the main farm area uh, so I may remove that shed and then rebuild that over there and then use that for our two semi trucks and all the trailers that can fit in that bit then and then we can put something else in this little area maybe a, a smaller open shed for the um, forage wagon the feed mixer and stuff like that because uh, we are struggling a little bit on storage over this side for uh, some equipment and it kind of separates things up a little bit as well uh, I would also like to get another sheep pen so we can start getting some more wool. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for here. So we now own this area of land, which we'll use to extend this field as big as we can. Uh, but I'll keep this little section here for that other shed. And then we kind of separate some of the equipment. Um, it's not all in the one place as well. Uh, we can extend this field, not a huge amount, but we can now bring that out close to the water and just get a little bit more on that one as well. So I think that's looking a lot better this end there now, it's nice and straight and we've got a little bit more room to turn around at the end. So we'll get the carpentry shop sorted out. So we need to do the sawmill, no nope, wrong menu, go for this one. Um, you can share your real age, but don't give out too much personal information. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm nearly 40, so. Um, but that's up to you, whether you want to share your age. Um, but uh, Don Morpheus in the chat, one of my new channel members. Good to see you in the chat again. Hope you're doing well. Um, how do you get so straight lines with the painting and uh, planting and painting? Gosh, uh, let me just do this and I'll show you again. I did show this on the stream last week, I think. Uh, so we go sawmill. And we'll set the planks to distribute. 
Um, then we want the carpentry. So we want to do furniture from planks. So we'll activate that one. And uh, we'll also activate the wood chips because we'll get wood chips from the production of planks. And then for sawmill as well, we want to distribute those. So we can distribute those wood chips as well to the carpentry shop so we can get the wood pellets as well from that. So that should all start working now. Uh, Frambro is saying he's 14. Well, um, sorry if I've missed any of the comments in between all the uh, uh, the mini -ua comments. <laughs> Uh, Henrique Henrique saying, do you always use an Xbox controller? Um, if I'm doing my time-lapse recordings, I use my Xbox controller for everything. Um, which actually, I can probably turn that off for a bit now. Um, but when I'm doing the live streams, I like to try and use my steering wheel as well. Um, but I can't use keyboard, mouse for the forestry stuff. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back again. Alright. Um, so I use my Xbox controller for some stuff. Like, if I'm walking around, like in first person, I'll use my Xbox controller. Uh, if I'm doing landscaping, I'll use the mouse keyboard. And then if I'm driving, I'll use the, <laughs> the steering wheel. Uh, as for the straight lines when I'm painting, I use the minimap. So at the bottom left hand corner. If you set your degrees to the way you want to go, so zero degrees and then I just use the keyboard, the W key and the S key to go forwards and backwards in a perfect straight line just while you're hold, holding down the paint tool. Uh, so if you want to delete the edges of a field in a nice straight line, just use the mouse keyboard then you just go backwards and forwards depending on which direction in a perfectly straight line. Just have to make sure you don't move your mouse controller side to side otherwise it will go off uh, it's the only way I've found to do it perfectly straight if you're not quite lined up properly um, then you start going off at an angle uh, but that's how I do it uh, my email is on the about section if I'm, you go to my main channel page So if you click on, just trying to think, yeah, on my icon somewhere, it should go to channel page, and then from there, if you go to the about section, there is an email address provided for uh, business inquiries. I uh, think is that load I'm not ready to go yet. I think we'll uh, we'll give it give it this load and then we'll um, call it quits on the forestry for tonight. We'll get some field extensions loading. Have you got enough logs to finish loading that trailer? Probably not, but I let I let you take over here, load, because it's driving me soft. Because I don't know if it is because we've um, removed the stumps while the logs are still there that it's removed the collisions as well off the bottom of the stumps. I so say, it's, I say it is. Yeah, it's the like only that, thing I can think would cause an issue, possibly. Yeah, I've, I've, ne I've never, never had, had that problem before. Yeah, I haven't had this problem even though I've deleted the stumps, but yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe you've sold the trees before you deleted them. No, I delete the stumps ah. when there's still trees standing around. I yeah, because they loads of those are just glitching through. Yeah. Yeah, something um, something's caused them to go. Like I've never had that happen before. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just doing that in multiplayer. It doesn't like possibly. Yeah, it yeah, might be. No collision on that at all, apart from the very end. 
the very end that still has the collision is the very end that's at the bottom, isn't it? Uh, I don't know which way around. I'd imagine so. So that wouldn't be the delete collision or the delete stump then? Uh, I, I, so I don't know, I've no, no idea. That's the only thing I can think of that I've ever done differently that we've now started to have this problem. And we didn't have it on the longer logs before I did that, so I don't know. Strange. We'll see next time we uh, try it. We try not using that and see if we have the same issue, and then we'll know. Um, how long we got? Five. Well, so four minutes left to get your comment in. So many are all in capital letters. If you want your chance to win the Pumps and Hoses DLC on PC. Um, Enrique saying thank you for the tips, no worries. Uh, Damku M saying I see you for the first time and I thought you look totally different. I think everyone said that I, I don't look anything like people expect. I don't know what people were expecting. <laughs> Should I take a full load of lime back with me down? Um, yeah, you can do if it's cheap to buy. How much have we got in the lime production? Okay, yeah, that's too expensive. 8,000, how much was that for? 20. Wow. That's too expensive. Yeah. That is quite expensive. It's a lot more expensive than no man's land anyway. Oh, stupid traffic. They come flying around the corner. Uh, oh, fam saying hi, hey to you. In my opinion, it's too difficult to use controller with a forest harvester. It depends which ones. These ones aren't too bad because I've kind of got used to them over time. So I copied the control setup from FS19. Um, it did take me a while to get used to using this equipment with an Xbox controller, though. Um, so if you watch some of my older Grizzly Mountain videos when I first started using them, <laughs> I wasn't as competent using them. I was, uh, a lot of the time I had to keep stopping to, and then thinking what buttons I needed to press but you get to that point where it just becomes muscle memory you don't even think about it you just do it and if somebody was to ask without having the controller in my hand what buttons do you press to do such and such I probably wouldn't be able to tell you Uh, do you have the buttons on the back like an Xbox Pro controller? Um, I have on this one. This is the controller I use. is the Razer Wolverine Ultimate. It does have uh, buttons on the back, but I don't particularly use them. Um, I, I Initially, I bought this because I was hoping I could map those. Being on PC, um, I was hoping I could map the extra buttons to like PC commands, uh, but I could only change them to like X, Y, B, um, R1, R2 and stuff like that, which was a bit annoying. Uh, Frank Barton, thank you very much for the subscription. So we've got just under one um, just over one minute left to get your comment in for your chance to win the Pumps and Hoses DLC. So comment Manira all in capital letters for your chance to win on the PC version of the upcoming DLC which is released next week. Yeah, I was so disappointed when I got the controller. I hooked it up to the PC and went into button mapping. I was like, oh. I wanted to set like GPS and and stuff like that to it, so I could use those just for quick activating GPS. But unfortunately, it didn't work. Uh, but it's a really nice controller, though. So we've got less than 30 seconds, so we'll go till 10 o'clock. I'll have to get the web page all open back up again because I closed it down. <laughs> so 15 seconds. Uh, just only post your comment once because it won't pick uh, if you've got multiple comments of the same. Alright, that's it. Last chance. I think Biffley just about got in there. 9.59pm. 
Alright. Let me just get out that in case they want to use it. See if I can get this back up again. Where's my web browser? Login. Got full screen. Add. Screen captured. Right, so keyword was manure, all in capital letters. Again, we've got no extra look for channel members. Uh, regulars, no extra look as well. And I will enable that so you only post once. So, hey, what do you mean there are no eligible users to win this giveaway? Oh, <laughs> I had caps locks on. <laughs> right, roll it. What do you mean there are no eligible? Oh. Dude, why is that not registering? Okay, so for some reason it's not liking that. There's lots of people because I can see lots of people. Uh, for some reason, I can't get this to work. <laughs> oh, this is not going well tonight, is it? I don't know what I'm doing wrong, why it's not working now. Would never use. I don't know if it's because I've already done one, it's not. Let me do another one. Oh, there we go. Arbitrary hubis, <laughs> did you comment? So there you go, Arbitrary Hubis, Hubris has won the giveaway. So we've got a winner. Um, contact me via email. Yeah, congratulations. Um, and again, made if you're still watching, do contact me through the email and I'll try and sort something out for you. Because you did technically win the first one and I feel bad not, <laughs> even though you didn't quite read the, uh, the rules. But yeah, I will get you the download code sent over as soon as I can. I'll try and do it t tomorrow. Um, so you've got it ready to go for the release date. So if I can now get rid of that one. And get back into the game. So congratulations again. I, I may possibly do another giveaway next Tuesday. So we will be streaming next Tuesday on the release day of the DLC. So we'll be having a look at um, all, all the equipment. Well, as much of the equipment as we can and trying some of the stuff out. Uh, we do have like over a million litres of digestate at our BGA ready to go. So hopefully we can use that. Um, okay. Um, were we going to do more trees? No, no, we're, we're done. We're done with trees. We're done, we're done with trees um, tonight. We'll, uh, sell, sell, sell it low, let's say, and we go do something else. Yeah, we've got, we'll do the field okay. extensions, then we can do soil samples and get the lime spread on those ready. Yes, for, um, you want to sell the load of trees? 
Um, yeah, I can take it over. Let's see, I'll start tidying up a bit here and try our oh, Stevie's yeah. already doing it. Got it all chipped. Alright. Yeah, if you um, contact me via the email and then I'll send you the code over tomorrow. And I'll probably forget to do it after the stream. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see if I can sort out another one for next week for um, possibly doing as well. Oh, I think we've got overhanging logs. No, we're going to get stuck on a few things. Uh, <laughs> just, they're just slightly overhanging. I think that's definitely constituted as a dangerous load. Definitely, definitely a load you'd probably lose your license if you was caught driving with that. I don't know if you'll make it over the other bridge to be honest. Uh, I've chat Sam, um, bear with me. I think I'll keep scrolling too far to the edge of my screen and scrolling the chat up. Um, Fran Bro saying, hey Sim, how do you get as many subscribers as, as you have? Um, a little bit of luck and just being consistent uploading content and trying to make content people like to watch and eventually you'll get there um, I, I was very fortunate to have that one video that really took off for me and kind of catapulted the channel from below 100 sub subscribers to 10 over 10,000 subscribers in a little over under two weeks so I was very fortunate that happened, and then from there it just... Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Two wheeling across the bridge in a log... <laughs> in a truck and a log trailer. Yeah, I, I was very fortunate that I had that one video that took off. Although it's not my most viewed video. <laughs> okay, this is the last few vlogs here, Stevie. Yeah, you, you do need a bit of luck on YouTube and a patience and um, you do have to keep keep grinding away sometimes and it can be slow but then obviously sometimes you do get that bit of luck where that one video will for whatever reason will get a lot of attention and you get quite a lot of subscribers from that I think I've lost some logs I think there may be um, yeah I think I may have left a trail of logs Somebody didn't strap the logs down. Isn't the driver supposed to make sure the load is secured? Yeah, I should have done, but I think, well, there's two down by the sawmill. I'm thinking there's probably on the bridge, there's probably a stack of logs. Oh, there's another one. And there's another one. And there's another two. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I've left a bread, breadcrumb trail of logs. <laughs> I might have to go back with the auto load on and just pick them up. Yeah, hard work has made says. Yeah, you you definitely need to be uh, prepared to put a lot of lot of effort in at the start for very little reward. If you're considering doing YouTube. There's some good channels out there as well that will help giving you a little bit of advice on ways to Was that the whole load trolled? No, only probably a third of it. Okay, I was going to say 9000, that was not worth it then. Was that all Dix no. TV? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I turn off the wood chipper then. Oh, I've got a few more on the trail and then I'll try and pick up those ones we've dropped with the auto load. If I can remember how to enable it. You 
want to jump in, Stevie, and I'll drive you over to the farm. Right, F1. Uh, start auto load wood. No, change number of positions. Not that one. Right, how do I change the uh, thing? What key is that? What? Found half your load. Yeah, we're stuck. Let's see if I can ram through it. How do I change the uh, positions on this trailer? Do you know? Uh, nope. There I'll we go. Trying to press the key, it says, but it's not working. Uh, to change what the side of unloading? No, because it's currently set to uh, two two piles max ten meters. Oh, it oh um. It's the enter key on your um, numpad, if you have that. Yeah, I think it's conflicting with uh, the handbrake yes. on um, Yes. Yeah, with the handbrake. Control. Yeah, I'll just have to do two bunks, ten meters. Yeah, Should I have work. removed the handbrake, so I can use ah. it to change files. Uh, it's still working anyway. Or sort of. There we go. Well, there's two logs on. Uh, yeah, you lost uh, three more on this big bridge and then a whole bunch on the smaller one. Okay. Um, how are we doing for the animals? Are they going to survive if we skip through the night? It's going to be dark. Let's see, I think every... Yeah, the chickens have 2,000 litres, so I think they'll be okay. It's the wrong side. I'll start speeding up time a little bit and then... Uh, just keep an eye on her. Yeah, so I'll, try, I'll just try and pick up these uh, these logs that I've dropped everywhere. If we can actually see. Get these sold, then we'll play in the field extensions. Okay, I was going to say, where did you put the uh, carpentry, but I found it. I need to change the side on this one now, so it's on the left hand side. How do I do that? Uh, auto load. You press O. Oh, there's trouble, I can't see a thing. <laughs> there's no li no lights on the back of the uh, trailer, so I can't see. Uh, oh, there is. I was going to say, the truck does have lights on the back on the... I just hadn't pressed the button enough times. Yeah, that's... Okay, we've got... I've got wood chips loaded up in the carpentry too. Switch to... Yeah, that's on left. Why is it not loading? Because if it says switch to left, it's on right. Yeah, it says switch to right, but it's not picking up these. Uh, it up. Try having the center of the trailer about where the logs are. That helps often. Oh, it's because I'm not on the trailer, that's why. Uh, it's a turned off auto load. There we go. I think when I was um, switching sides, it turned off auto load. Uh, from right, I don't know if you said anything, oh, okay. but I currently have 16 subscribers. Well, I'm sure you'll get more if you keep at it. And I've come the wrong way. I should have carried on round that way because I'm probably missing loads of lo loads of logs. I've just dropped now. Didn't find any in the yard. Yeah, I didn't cut through the yard, I went all the way around the field. Oh, okay, yeah. And I've just cut I through the yard. Didn't and look there. <laughs> just remembered. I didn't go that way. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see how many was on the back of the trailer, so I'm not sure if there's many more. Uh, did you get all of those that went off at the first little bridge? No. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a good few down at the bridge, so why there are two houses. Yeah, that's probably where most of them fell off. I was driving in cab for the most part, so I didn't see that I was losing logs. Well, I can't see any round here. Not that I can see anyway. Uh, gaming with James, what times does the stream end? The stream ends in about 45 minutes time. So I've got around about 45 minutes left. Uh, 
We might need to check the egg pallets as well, make sure we don't need to move any. Oh. I think I I'm think trying to, trying to build the dam good. down here, weren't I? <laughs> trying to dam up the river. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say we were going to challenge. Oh, okay, that was a lot of leasing costs. Uh, we, I keep meaning we, we need to return that John Deere forage harvest because we're not going to use that now. Well, saying that, we probably will. I was considering replacing it with a slightly bigger one because that one struggles a bit with the horsepower. What fields are we going to extend? Uh, the lower two. So it's the one near where I built the new shed, 54 and 55. If you come um, straight down from the left hand side So if you look at the map on the left hand end of that field on 50 just above 54 Yeah, so if, the if you take the end of that field straight down at 90 degrees, so Leaving that little triangle of land by the shed so I can build another shed there yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, and then we'll just fill in the rest of the space. And then the other one is the other side of the river. The sugar beet field will just fill in that little bit. Okay, I loaded up the chickens with some food too, so they should be okay. All right. I think I've got all the logs now. I'll speed up time a little bit so we can get to the morning. And then we'll uh, jump in the tractor, get the plow hooked up and... Uh, Oh, it's snowing. Actually, because we've only got partial load, I'm going to leave this here. You want to take side. the challenger for plowing? Um, yeah, it'd be nice to use that. It's <laughs> at the chicken <laughs> fan right now with the trailer. That's so dark, it is. my screen is literally like pitch black because of all the trees. Where is the challenge? You got it over there? Yeah, over at the chicken pan. Alright. Right, slow down time. Oh, nice wintry. Wintry calm lands. So if you missed this on the last stream, this is the Fent Challenger MT743-9 <laughs> mishmash base game. Oh, I just literally drove straight into a wall. <laughs> mishmash tractor that we bought that you can't actually buy in game. Um, I'll check. Um, I'll check my emails at, uh, later if you should have come through. I don't have my uh, thing on at the moment. I don't even know where my phone is. I'll just I'll just check to make sure. Uh, yeah, I've got both your both your emails come through, so I'll uh, I'll sort that out tomorrow for you. But I'll see what I can do for you, mate, and um, I'll get the link posted over to you as well. Let's see, I'll read paint. For, um, I can't remember, uh, Hobbitary, Hubris, Hubris. Apologies if I'm getting your name wrong. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the link over tomorrow and I'll uh, see what I can do for you tomorrow. Storm just getting his spray can out. Yep, this looks better. <laughs> but that, that was a really nice addition to the game when they put the windscreen wipers in. Working with the sound as well. <laughs> they do sound pretty cool. I, I, I would still like to see more effects from the weather in the game though. Uh, especially like I've said this on some of the older stuff I did. Um, I'd love to see more of an effect when it rains, that puddles form on the ground, and tractors actually look like they're getting wet. 
rather than just having that visual rain effect. Uh, fields will probably get muddy if you drive on them uh, with the risk of getting stuck. Yeah, I want to be able to get stuck. I know there is mods for that, but I'd love to see that in the base game where there is just that more effect of... Um, the weather has more of an effect on what you do. So possibly even lead, leading into then uh, irrigation, so if you're not in an area where it has much rainfall, uh, that you will have to ir irrigate your crops as part of a get, uh, the base game as well. I think I'm gaining on you. Have I got the slow one? I can go 27. 27. You have to set your cruise control to uh, 20. Yeah, I'll wait. I think, I'll, I think I've, I've got the, the slow plow. Uh, Fran Bray saying I've got to go see you at 3.45. Well, thank you for watching the stream. I um, appreciate you taking the time to come watch. And it was good to see you in the chat again. And hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Steve has created a field and created another one. Yeah, he wasn't sure about how big he wanted. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realise I could have went out a lot further. I'll let you carry around the inside, and I'll go back. Okay. I'll fill in this bit round here. That's going to be quite a big field. Sugar beets in this one. Yeah, but we're going to need a modded harvester. Potatoes! Potatoes, and we use the small, small um, harvesters. The one meter. Yeah, the, the, the twin row. <laughs> no chance. I think it's faster to go pick them out by hand then. Even, even if we all had our own and we just dumped it at the end of the field in a big pile. Yeah, no, I'd be just continuously dumping it <laughs> dump to ground then, all the way and then have to go hoover it well we had, what did we have in that field it was corn last time wasn't it yep this put a two million litre corn harvest stuff in the van over this field can join all three fields up and make a big corn harvest. Well, crops we haven't done yet. Um, we've still got a plant for next year's or this year, so we're in February now. So we've still got corn, uh, sunflower, soybean, oats we could do. Cotton. Cotton. Yeah, we haven't done cotton yet. Yeah, we. We're going to be able to get the money anyway, so that's not a big problem. Yeah, we could always do a big load of grass soilage. Yeah, or grass we can soilage. Do well, I can do some wood chipping, I don't mind that. I'll just use a loading of logs, I'll just use the outer load. Yeah, we've still got loads of trees to get through as well, so we'd, we have, we'd easily get the money for a cotton harvester. That wouldn't be a we problem. We can go for the big 12 meter, I'm using that. That's I nice. haven't tried that yet. I'm it's annoying, like transporting and yeah. putting in sheds because it's big. But yeah, I can imagine. Uh, what I was considering doing on the Western Worlds was setting up like a field just for like cotton and one other crop and then swap between two and then have a shed for that like next to the field so it doesn't need to go anywhere. Yeah, I uh, put like a big open shed and, yeah. and I can just drive. Or it's small wood ones, but it just fit in there and yeah, looks yeah. nice. So. Yeah, so I'd have a shed uh, specifically for that and some other equipment. And then uh, storage for the cotton bales and then keep them until the best price. Because uh, usually I just sell them straight away on no man's land because I can't bother to store them. Yeah, I've put mine to the spinnery. Yeah, because I've got loads of wool from the sheep on the spinnery, so it's already full, so I think it won't process both of them very fast. So uh, if you take both combined, 
you'll get more fabric. Uh, if you've got the um, wool and the cotton, both. The, sp the spinnery from the packing facility mod. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that on No Man's Land. Oh yeah, I changed mine out for that. Since yeah, I, ne I never because it because it was a different looking building. I thought I'd just leave it. And I, at that no. point now, where I'm making so much money from other stuff as well, I just don't really think I need to do so much more fabric. Yeah, potatoes are making me rich now. What, I, what I'd like to see is more of an industrial size tailor shop or like a yeah, big textile warehouse that does clothes of more of a, yeah, big a slightly faster um, like production rate. Because the tailor shop's nice, but it is a bit limited to how much it can do in a year. Yeah, I was looking at the pizza thing and I don't think I'd like me an egg pizza. Egg pizza? Yeah, well, I did see that egg. I was like... Okay, yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Uh, so anybody in chat, have you ever had egg on your pizza? Was that new pr uh, pizza production mod that came out today. Uh, one of the recipes has egg and potatoes. I was going to say I've had egg inside my pizza, but not on top. <laughs> and I've never had a potato on my pizza that I know of. I like pineapple on mine. I know a lot of people probably won't like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it. And there's a lot of people that really dislike pineapple on pizzas, but no, I love it. Well, if it's on my pizza, I'll eat it. I won't leave the pizza just because there's pineapple on it. Uh, Hans saying uh, egg on pizza actually tastes really good. Yeah, it's not something I've ever never tried. <laughs> is that like a whole egg then, or is it like? Yeah, is it like, like egg? sliced boiled egg, fried egg, scrambled egg on your pizza? Fried yeah. egg doesn't sound good either way. I could add like boiled egg chopped up. But yeah, or a scrambled egg, but... I think years ago, I remember when turtles was a big thing, the cartoon turtles, they, they did some really weird flavoured pizzas and like branded turtles pizzas. Oh. Well, I can't remember what they were, that was, <laughs> that was probably about 30 odd years ago. I know they sell chocolate pizzas here, I don't know why you would chocolate. have chocolate on your pizza, but... Uh, that sounds like a Scottish thing with their deep fried Snickers and Mars bars. Battered Snickers yeah. and battered Mars bars. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want chocolate on your pizza because it probably just melt in the oven. But I say, no, it's just an egg, it's poured over the pizza before it's put in the oven. Ah, so it's just like a, a, a baked egg. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, I, I, I didn't, now thinking about it, it, it depends what other toppings you've got on there. It doesn't sound horrible, but I'm not sure I'd go, I want a pizza with an egg on top. <laughs> right, I need to back up a little bit. Ooh. We'll just fill in this little bit of air, an area. Don't want to come too close to the water. Oh. Uh, Hans saying, damn, now I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll probably eat a lot of junk food over the next couple of weeks because we've got no kitchen after tomorrow until they get it the new one fitted. <laughs> so oh, I'll probably, probably just... eating takeaways and uh, microwave meals. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad every now and then, but for a week. <laughs> yeah, takeaway doesn't work here where I am at. By the time they get here with the pizza, I it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> starting to freeze it's like very cold outside we had minus earlier today yeah yeah the temperature has dropped quite a bit seems crazy that it was only like a few weeks ago we was getting almost 40 degree temperatures here and now we're like 
down into the high teens. What is the current temperature? 23 degrees in here, which is just about perfect to me. Yeah, in here it's 24 because of the PC, but outside it's 2 degrees. Yeah, I can comfortably sit in here at 23, 24 degrees with a t-shirt on and be perfectly happy. Any hotter than that and it just gets too much for me. Yeah, no, I have some chilly wind going through my room, so I'm sitting here in full yeah. sweater and long pants. And <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it'll probably only be another few weeks before I have to start wearing my jumper. It's 27.8 in my little room here now. 27.8, like tropical. But it's 18 degrees here today. Yeah, I don't know, I had no idea what the temperature was today. It was fairly cool. We had 14, but I was still boiling up outside while I was working. Yeah, well, I got to the point where I had to take my jumper off earlier because I was getting a bit hot. I was lugging stuff around in the garage. Well, the problem here is in the mornings when we start to work, you have to have like winter trousers and everything since yeah. it's minus. And then after that, then you have to take off everything and you can go in yeah, shorts. Yeah, yeah we, I always like that where I used to work. It was you'd get in at uh, half five in the morning, it'd be absolutely freezing. We'd get the uh, we'd have no heating in our workshop. We'd yeah, have we to get we get an old oil drum outside and chuck a load of broken pallets in there and set fire to that. That was our heating at work. Yeah, we start at 7 here. That's the normal starting time. Well, uh, I, I, I used to like the winter more than the summer because I could always found it a lot easier to warm up once you got working. Uh, in the summer it was more difficult to cool down. Yeah, in the winter we get a few snow plowing jobs here so you can just sit inside a wheel loader and yeah. Bit nice and hot with the radio going. Well, we've got just under half an hour left of the stream. So we'll, so we'll try and get the soil sampling done, then get some lime spread to get the pH set on these fields ready for um, getting new crops in which we'll probably do next time may continue oh no next time we've got the pumps and hoses so yeah we'll what we'll probably have to do is get some fields ready for slurry to go so we can get some slurry spread on that fields yeah well those two can probably be done as long as we don't put soybeans in because obviously we don't need nitrogen uh, what else have we got So those two fields have been harvested as well, so we could put some on those. Is the hose going to be long enough? I think so. Yeah, the one hose is like, um, what is it, one and a bit kilometres, so it's like halfway across the map. Okay, that should be enough. And then you can get several extension hoses. Uh, but if you set up with one of those tankers next to the field and then the pump running, you should be able to do one field with a one of the longer hoses. We're gonna need every single tractor of ours to pump the slurry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just put just trying to put think. the big tractors on the pumps and then the small one to pull it. Yeah. All right, so we currently own all of that. Uh, there's, there is some buildings I wanna put in, but I really wanna put them up in uh, this area up here in 19. Because it's a fairly flat area just between those two roads, and I think it'll be nice to get some stuff up here, out, like start spreading out from where we are down here. So that's one area of land I want to buy in the near future. Uh, oh, now I want it to start snowing outside here in real life. Yeah, I can't wait for the snow. I, I, I like it when it snows when I don't have to go out in it. Or like I, I, I get the choice to go out in it if I want to. <laughs> oh, I love being outside. I, I want a lot of snow because then I can start plowing it again with the four wheeler. Yeah, we, we don't we don't often get that much snow here. And we might be buying a tractor later this winter, so... Yeah, we had a few years ago, we had quite a bit of snow here quite deep as well that last, lasted for a few days but it's always a, one of those 
So like, do I go out and clear the drive off, knowing that by the end of the day it could have all disappeared? Yeah. The problem we have here is when it snows a lot and it's windy overnight. Yeah. We get it, well, we can just start plowing again since the road gets covered up again. Yeah. Right, so we we get huge snow banks down by the road because the snow plows plowed right in front of our drive. Yeah. So we've got 67 people still watching. If you've not yet hit that like button, then please do. Really appreciate it. And don't forget as well that the stream from this evening will be a time lapse on Stevie's channel, Stevie4K Gaming. I'll post a link in the chat now. Uh, so go and check out Stevie's channel. If you're new to this channel as well and you want to see the previous streams in time lapse. Uh, which is what I mostly do on my channel uh, then check out Stevie's channel hopefully that works in capitals so what caps lock on and if you've not yet checked out my other channel Sim Farmer Plus then check that out as well I've currently got a let's play on Carms and Farm going so that's a let's play with commentary not uh, time lapse so I actually talk on the video. Uh, getting back to me game. You can stay in the tractor. Oh, thank you. You can stay in the nice heat. It's, it's funny, funny in multiplayer when you see the person run round and they like put the wand up in the air to like and the move. Oh yeah, I'm. Oh. <laughs> you can't see it's on yours because it always stays level, but when you run around on my screen, it's like you're spraying up in the air. Yeah, I'm looking at the stream and i like, Ooh. I only noticed it the other day when I did it on uh, No Man's Land, when I got out with the other character at the uh, the vehicle to use brush wash. <laughs> it was a bit weird. So if you go in cab now, do you get wet? Uh, yeah, it is coming through the cab a little bit. <laughs> Uh, uh, one thing we want to do as well this year is upgrade our planters and seed drills. Yeah, we need to get the seed option once, I think. Uh, we definitely, we, we just need some slightly wider ones in general. Oh. Um, let's see the next. There isn't a seeder that's bigger which doesn't need direct drilling or which needs... Uh, there's only the 18 meter technically unless you use the seeding options. And you can get the Amazon yeah, it's gonna... 12, uh, 15 meter. Yeah, the biggest direct drill cedar is 9. And uh, um, the, yeah, uh, it's the direct short. drill Amazon that was in FS19 was in the testing this uh, week or so ago. For, um, as a mod or as Yeah, as a mod. Game. It was on the testing list. But it That's didn't release, nice. so I presume it's had an issue. Uh, so it would be good to see that back on a uh, sort of proper direct drill version of it. Rather yeah, than... I like that one. Because for Euro European maps, that was a nice one to go up to for like um, smaller fields. Well, say smaller fields, but to smaller areas. Uh, feed but mixer, just I think we need to top up next time. Just yeah. in general, it's a nice one if you don't want to go for an air drill. Yeah, we've got 20 minutes left. What I'll do is. Uh, so conveyors are all over there. With the wheel loaders over the BGA as well, isn't it? Yep. Uh, cows could do with some straw. Uh, I'm going to go and grab the uh, wheel loader and start loading up some silage into the uh, feed mix. Right? The feed mixing plant because that's empty of silage. Okay, yeah, I think we needed mineral feed too. Yeah, I've worked it out when I filled it up. I've roughly put in as enough for each one, so they should all run out at a similar time. I just super strength for the wheel loader. Oh yeah, I just always. So they, sh they should have all run out at roughly about now, so which they're not far off. Um, I could always put the mineral feed silo in, so we can just buy it direct. Oh, trying to <laughs> trying to work out how to get in reverse then the clutch pedal so I use the manual direction can uh, change and I've got that set to the clutch pedal on my uh, on my pedal so I can switch between reverse and drive 
Oh, my steering wheel stopped working. Do I need to shred the bales or can I just throw them on No, there? it hasn't got a bale trigger, so you'll have to put them in the feed mixer, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Which is a little bit annoying. Come on, steering wheel. There we go. Yeah, I don't like reversing with the brake pedal on the the pedals. So I, I like to use the accelerator to go forward and backwards so I can change direction. It's one of the reasons why I put off using my wheel because I didn't even know that was an option in game was the uh, direction control. So we'll finish off, we'll just top up the feed mixer. Um, so we've got just under 20 minutes left. So there may be another stream this weekend on No Man's Land. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, but I said there is a lot more I want to do. Uh, so I may do another stream on there. Probably Sunday evening again. Because uh, I did seem to get quite a lot of people watching last Sunday. Uh, which was good to see. I think at one point I had 140 at the highest point on Sunday stream which is quite a lot more than we've been getting on here I don't know what the highest was this evening There's that, the, uh, the wheel loader I've got on the western walls. I've got 18,000 litre capacity bucket. <laughs> this one's like a baby yeah. compared to that. The big Volvo, and it's cheap. I, I would like to get Terraform on here at some point. But it's just like having a reason to use it. Like if there was a placeable gold production mod that came out on Mod Hub. That required stones, and I'll probably get Terraform on here and have a go with that. Oh, just killed our conveyor. Uh, but what I was considering as well was for a series doing that um, when it comes to doing landscaping to build the farm and do buildings, is that you can't use the landscaping tools, <laughs> you have to try and do it all in Terraform, which would <laughs> be probably difficult to get. Do ramps and things. Fun, but so, sounds fun. Uh, leveling ground would be fairly easy, but getting it to look nice around the edges and stuff. Yeah, I I think would be difficult. I just wish the smoothening tool was better. Yeah. It's horrible. I've tried looking at my settings to see if I can change it, but. Yeah, even with the increased strength, it doesn't work very well. And yeah, there, there, are, there are times as well where you can clearly see that the ground hasn't smoothed out and it just stops working, it just won't do anything. Yeah, when you had it on the strongest in 19, it was like instant. Uh, what you have to do sometimes, I've found, is you have to then raise or lower that little bit of area and then it smooths it again. Yeah, I just wish they had the strength of the 19 one. Yeah, yeah the 19 nice. one, the smooth tool seemed a lot better. Uh, Hans saying, Sim, is it possible that you showed us your settings for the controller sensitivity? Um, controller sensitivity for the controller itself or for the steering wheel? Uh, the smoothing function in Terraform is pretty good though. I haven't actually tried the smoothing function in Terraform. Uh, yeah, I, I do need to have a, a, a proper play around with it and try and do different stuff with it. The thing is, if you would were to do only terraform to change your areas, where are you gonna store all the stone? Yeah, I just have to sell it. Yeah, I just have to load it up and sell it. If there's no production that requires it, because there's only so much lime you can produce. What well, you might be able uh, to steering spend lime sensitive, for more. sensitivity for the controller. Um, 
or the actual steering wheel itself. Uh, try and work out where it is. Well, steering sensitivity for in-game menu is set to 50, so it's set to the lowest. Because I always find anything higher than that it's a bit, a uh, bit twitchy. Uh, steering back speed, as far as I'm aware, that has no effect on controller. That's just for keyboard. Well, that's one thing I changed in FS19. I always had it on 50 as well. Because I remember when I first played FS19 and the steering sensitivity was so weird. Let's see, is that enough? Well, and side or hay? It's not that much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. I can't remember what the uh, ratios were, like how much hay you needed to silage and how much straw. Uh, you need just about as much straw as hay. Uh, settings in the main game menu, uh, I think they're pretty much all default. I don't think I've changed any of those for the gamepad in the main, like, in game. So like, the dead zone for the controller and everything is all, it's pretty much all default as far as I remember. The only thing I changed in there was the steering wheel uh, dead zone. Uh, it does help having a, a good Xbox controller as well, I find. <laughs> but on, on this one, um, this, this Razer controller I've got, it's got the um, changeable analog sticks. So for the, the steering one, I've got the domed one, which I find a lot better to use than the uh, concave one. And it's slightly higher as well, which I find you, get, you can get a lot better control on it. I like finer control movements on it. Out of all the Xbox controllers I've used, I think that Razer one is the best one I've tried. I've, not, I've never used one of the Xbox Elite controllers though. Originally I was going to get one of those and then um, that was a unavailable unless you paid stupid money for them so I went for that Razer one instead but that was a new purchase I bought uh, just before FS22 was released I bought myself a new controller <laughs> well I think I needed it after nearly like 5,000 hours on uh, FS19 <laughs> I think in the entire time of FS19 I went through three Xbox controllers two wow. official ones which is like standard um, after a while I had a problem where <clears throat> the uh, shoulder buttons didn't seem to register like the bumper buttons so I'd often end up like uh, trying to turn on a tractor and it hadn't registered I was pressing the the RB button and I'd just press X and it'd jump out the tractor but yeah, this controller's on its way out. And I had that happen twice with two Xbox controllers. Uh, Mick Jack, Mick, Mick Jack, 32, saying, hey, hey to you, welcome to the stream. Although we are almost just about finished. So we've got just over 10 minutes left, and then we're gonna call it quits. Well, thank you for stopping in. I think I'm gonna pass this 5,000 hour mark pretty fast in 22. <laughs> yeah, I think I may end up, especially if we're gonna have a, another three year cycle on uh, 22, which is looking more than likely. I say, if, if after the Platinum expansion, if Giants do announce a year two season pass, then I can safely say that we won't be seeing a new version of the game next year. I can't see them doing a year two season pass and release a new game. I wouldn't mind having a three year again. Gives I, more mods and... Yeah, in some ways I think it was better because we did start to get some really, really good mods towards the end of FS19 because of that. Um, but as a content creator, it's like, no, I want a new game. There's nothing like a new game to get people uh, interested yeah, in the that's, content. That's true. 
I mean, last November and December was like the two best months I've ever had on YouTube. And that was obviously because of the new game. I don't think we're getting much more out of here. Uh, Andrew saying thanks for the evening's entertainment. Hopefully catch you in the next one. Yeah, hopefully. And take care and enjoy the rest of your week. And thank you for stopping by to watch the stream. I was noticing that I've got like subscribers on the uh, event thing that I don't remember getting notifications for. So thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm not sure why some of the uh, notifications haven't popped up for you. But I can see new names in the list. Let's see if we can get this. This is always difficult in here because it's difficult to work out exactly where the bucket's sitting. is one of those jobs it's much easier in real life than it is uh, in game in fur in cab anyway scraping out bits it is easier but it's also hard because you can't see what's in front of the bucket yeah not that I've ever operated anything this big we used to use a little bucket on a JCB telehandler <laughs> I, I did have a go in a wheel loader but it wasn't this big but that was I, didn't really like operate it properly, it was just pretty much just moving it out of the way. Yeah, I've had that course now, so I think I can. I, I'm allowed to drive the wheel loaders as big as yeah. I make them. A nice one. I don't think I'd get a job as a wheel loader operator in real life. Not that bad, it's just practice. Goes pretty quick to learn how yeah. to do it. Right, let's see how much we've got in there and see if it's. Uh, need any more. So 79,000 litres in there, we've got 58,000 litres of hay and 55 straw. So it's just the mineral feed we need on that now? Uh, I think so. Let me just have a look where are we forage. Yeah, so we need mineral feed. Uh, mineral feed is 100 per mix of a thousand. Ah, uh, that's not right. Why has that changed? That's. Oh it's, yeah, it's down to a thousand again. Why is it changed back to a thousand? Uh, did you update it? Uh, I don't think I did. Unless I did by mistake. <laughs> Strange. Alright, I'm going to leave that switched off then because I'm not wasting a thousand litres of material. I don't know how long that has been running then we're just producing half of what we should have been getting. I think not too long, I hope. Yeah, I don't, I, unless it's one of those I've just gone through update, update, update and not realised I've accidentally clicked that. That's strange. Okay, so yeah, we won't put any more silage in there just yet. I'll take this back over to the BGA. So we've got just under, well, just over seven minutes or just under seven minutes now. So a big thank you to everyone that's watched this evening. I really appreciate you taking the time to come and watch. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, Made, when will the next stream? Uh, next stream on here will be next Tuesday, so we'll be having a look at the Pumps and Hoses DLC. Um, there may possibly be a stream on Sunday on No Man's Land again like I did this weekend. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, um, so I'll decide closer to the weekend. Uh, that's only if, I've, if I'm struggling to get videos out because uh, of the disruption with the new kitchen and having power off at times. Uh, but I, I enjoyed the stream on there Sunday, it was good to get some stuff on No Man's Land, I probably wouldn't have got round to getting done. And um, there's still loads more I want to do on there as well. Um, as I mentioned earlier as well, if you want to see the time lapse from this stream and all the previous streams here on Calm Land, so you can see how we built up to this, which what I'll do actually is 
take a fly up and have a look over the farm, see how it's looking. So for anybody that's new to the stream and you've not seen, this has all been built up we've got in the last 13 episodes. So this is the 13th stream run now. Yeah, 13, that's a lot. Uh, we did have a head start because we transferred over all the money from No Man's Land. Um, so we, I think we had about 2 million or so. So we built up a, quite a bit of the main farm area, uh, the cows and the sheds over here. Uh, chickens as well and the sheep, I think we're pretty early going in. Uh, the big storage shed over here was added last time, right at the end of the stream. So it's that. I've got this little bit of area land where I mentioned earlier in the stream, we'll add another shed here uh, for storing some of our trailers for the semis and the trucks over here as well. So we've got our newly extended field down here and our big extended field here. I think we could do with a second uh, a lime spreader as well. So next map that we're going to do, are we going to start all over yeah. again? Yeah, we'll start completely from scratch because by the time we've finished on here, we'll have so much money it'll be yeah, stupid okay. to uh, transfer over the money. So we've got our industrial BGA, we've got fertilizer production, lime production down there if you've not seen, uh, dairy, spinnery, oil mill, a sugar beet processor, which we used last time. And then with the new ones we built today, we've got the carpentry and the sawmill. And the log cell point has still, still missed a log. <laughs> I'll probably add some trees, as I mentioned earlier, we'll probably put some trees across the back of there. And then this section that way, we'll plant a load more trees so they can start growing. That's probably one of the first jobs we'll do next time. And then we've got a little bit of space here for another production building, but that'll be the last one we put in this area. So for the rest of the land going that way, we'll probably use that for another field. And then as I mentioned earlier, I want to try and buy this bit of land up here, which is 19, which I think is just by these two roads. Um, so it's a reasonably flat area, and it's starting to get away from the main farm. So it's not perfectly flat, but it's, I think it's flat enough to uh, get a few buildings on. So we'll look at putting some additional sell points up here, so maybe the tailor shop, bakery, um, uh, maybe the wholesale sell point as well so we can kind of separate a few of the things off a bit and give us another area of the map to explore and I still haven't found any collectibles on here <laughs> I know there's someone here somewhere not that I've actually gone looking for them let's have a quick look see if I can find one I think it's with the one hiding on the rock somewhere. Or underneath the bridge. Underneath bridges is a good place for collectibles. Nope. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Again, a big thank you to everyone that's watched. Uh, Jesse's just joined saying hi. Um, hi to you. Uh, we're just literally about to finish. I think Stevie's got the uh, lime to finish off spreading before he finishes off his video. Yeah, I'm just going, I'm just doing this one field. I, I can't face the big field yet. <laughs> so here's our two houses. There's mine and Steve's house. Storm, you need to get a house built. Yeah, we'll do it next time. He's, he's sleeping in my spare room for now. I was going to say, I've been sleeping over with Stevie in the doghouse. I think what we need to do, we need to get the area of land up on 34, clear the trees and have some like uh, lake view houses. Yeah, I'm okay with just a log cabin. I don't need something big. Log cabin deep in the woods. Yeah, preferably far away from any road. Uh, the collectibles are all around the shop. Ah, so there's no round here then. Yeah, no, I'm searching around the shop, but I'm not... Uh, I, saw I found I one. I've, I've not, not accidentally come across one, but I've not actually looked for any. I think I found one or two earlier, but... Well, no. I can go search for them. I'm just looking around the shop now, but I'm not gonna collect them though. Are oh, they the game cartridges on here, aren't they? 
Yeah, so sort the of 50, 50 grand each. Yeah, I remember that first one I had found on um, Bo Baylor on. I didn't realise how much it was going to be. I like, collected it. I was like, whoa, 50 grand. So, yeah, yeah, I, I found another one. I think that's a little bit here. too much for a collectible. I found one over at the Animal Trader. <laughs> on the. on the what? drainage things. We'll go, we'll go and watch uh, Stevie finish off. Watch him doing all the work again. I think after we've done the harvest on this field, which is what we're going near, Canola, we'll probably get this area of land anyway and then we can extend that field up, up to that tree line and then down to the road. I put a little island in around those rocks and trees. It looks like Stevie's got last little bit to do and then we'll uh, call it quits so we are just coming up to ele after 11 so a little bit longer extra streams Ewald uh, Stoidum um, apologies if I got your name wrong saying greetings from South Africa greetings to you fortunately we are just about to finish up the stream <laughs> but uh, thank you for stopping by and saying hello uh, we'll be back next Tuesday here on Calmlands from 8 p.m. British time. Uh, we're not long now. Next month we'll be changing the clocks to uh, from British summer time to GMT. Oh, is that an hour later then? Uh, October it goes back, uh, okay, fall nice. back, spring forward. So we gain that, an hour. So yes, that's good for me. Well, it depends if your clocks change as well. <laughs> yeah, mine does. That I know of, at least. I don't think they've stopped with it yet. I don't know, when When do you change yours? As is usually the last Sunday in October, I think. I don't know. Mine changes. Currently, I wake up and then it's an hour earlier. <laughs> what? I don't look at it. You, you, only you, young, at... you young ones that rely on automatic time change. No, I've got the one besides my bed that doesn't change, so... Oh, I said it perfectly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thankfully I said it okay. Well, yeah, I appreciate you saying hi anyway, and hopefully you can join next time. It's, I found two cartridges, but I've not picked them up. Oh, three. We'll get a lift back with Stevie. Yeah, I think it's uh, the last last weekend in October ice change. Yeah, I think I was just two. Yeah, but years years ago we never had phones that automatically change. We had to go around manually changing all the clocks. <laughs> there was that one Sunday where you'd forget and you'd get up an hour early in the in the autumn. Uh, yes, it's the last Sunday in October here too. Yeah, so it probably won't make much difference for you then. <laughs> no, well, no, it's just universal all around, I think. I will turn off my uh, fly mode. I hope they're gonna stop with it soon, but you never yeah, know. Yeah, well, what they, they was talking about doing it in the UK was to change the clocks in the summer by two hours and then that's it just leave it because we have in the main summer it gets like light at like four o'clock in the morning it starts getting light and what i'm saying is so many people are like still in bed at that time that it's wasted daylight hours where it'd be better yeah. if it got stayed lighter later into the evening but then you get the problem in the winter that it's dark yeah. real early We've got here in the Ooh, winter snowman. gets dark early and light late. Yeah. And then in the summers, sometimes it's just fun all day. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't miss the going to work in the dark and coming home in the dark. So a big thank you again to everyone that's watched this evening. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next one. A big thank you to Stevie and Storm again for coming on to help out. 
really appreciate that. No problem. No problem, anytime. Yeah, so check out Stevie's channel, Steve4K Gaming. There is a link in the video description if you want to see the time lapse, and I will post one quickly in the chat as well. So I'll see you all in the next one, which I know definitely will be next Tuesday with the Pumps and Hoses DLC. So we're trying that out um, as much as we can. And there may be another giveaway of that DLC as well, so I'll see what I can do. Uh, but there may also be an extra stream again this week on Sunday on No Man's Land Save Game. Uh, but again, I'll probably know by the weekend, Saturday, Friday, if there is. So look out for the community post on that. So again, a big thank you to everyone that's watched. A big thank you to all my new subscribers as well. I really appreciate that. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.